One sec. Let me watch this video. Well, that's loud. Okay, it doesn't seem too difficult. I'll look at setting that up. It basically captures a window and just... You can position it in your virtual space. Okay. Right. You set up the mission here? Yeah, I'm in, mate. Cool. Hopefully the one th the uh, 130 is launched. Tell me it's launched, motherfucker. Or at least taxiing. It might still be taxiing, to be fair, because there's three of them taking off from the same place. <laughs> at least there's no All tankers that departed isn't on route. Roger. Anyway, to see the uh, ground speeds by clicking on them. I'm not in yet. I'll be in in a sec. I'll be able to check myself. Because the 130, once it's in position, I mean, I could just set it so it's there already rather than having to take off. But once it's in position, um, that's a good place if you've just taken off from the tanker with a combat load to go and top up before you actually go to your mission. Tomcats Dennis. No, we don't want those. Why is there so many? Oh, this isn't our mission anyway, is it? So, do you know where I care? Where are they? Where's the F-18 on the Stennis? There. No, that's Tomcat. Oh, mate. Has something happened to this mission where they're all Tomcats now? Yeah. No, you go down to look on the left on the list and go down where it says Hornets in this. Oh. Okay. There'll be enough better order on the left list. Okay. Woof! Well, that's a relief. I was going to say, I know there's Hornets because I'm already spawned in on the carrier. I'm going to spawn in on your carrier. Hey, motherfucker. Right. We should be able to non dangerously. Refuel and repair next to each other now. I'm gonna do it, and I don't care. Let's take some big bombs. What big bombs can we take? Cool, two of those, and another two of those, and. Uh, do we want to take a centerline pod? Are you taking a centerline pod? Well, what I was doing, I was just going to be doing some um, carrier launch and traps while the other guys were coming waiting to come on. Okay, I'm going to go find the tanker. But we can do tanker first, actually, if you want. I'm going to go find the tanker, and I'm carrying uh, eight Mark 83s and a centerline pod. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I shouldn't get bumped around like I did before, because I'm not on a moving carrier. Carrier of AIDS.
what I've started doing before I do my start up is flicking every switch that I can before I start up. Rearming complete. That way I don't. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit annoying. I suppose I could put it on um, real life. They'd have it on some kind of ground power. Because you wouldn't want to, oh, yeah. you wouldn't want to have to turn the jet on to configure things, especially like if you were doing a, um, if you were doing a pre-planned air-to-ground mission, there is no way you'd configure with your engines running. No, exactly. It'd make no sense. All you're doing is wasting fuel. Oh, I didn't even move when it refueled and rearmed then. Don't remember what the uh, KC one thirty's call sign was, do you? Was that Shell? Uh, Pretty sure it was KC Shell. KC was no, the K, one of the KCs would have been. Um, Sorry, the yeah, the one thirty though. One thirty was yeah, one thirty was Shell. Oh, so it's Tacam one hundred actually. Oh, you'll notice that replaced, that replaced the um, the S three, didn't it? Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's nearly made its way to where it's supposed to go. Okay. And it hasn't triggered a mission on its way. Okay. 100 extra. What? Taxi now. What was supposed to be the tank of um, tank and frequency for the tanker? 100 x ray. No, for, I'm sorry for the carry, I meant to say sorry. Oh. Whatever the. Isn't that 74? Yeah, I've got some 4 x ray in, but it's not picking it up for me. Or was it something else? I can't remember. Are you able to have a look at the briefing? It might say in there. Uh, I'll have a look, hang on. Briefing. Uh, stand by. Cause I haven't. Four two X ray. It's four two X ray. It says seventy four X ray in here. 
Yeah, because I did, I did breathe that in myself, but it's 42. Oh, okay. I need to change that then. But yeah, it's 42 X-ray. <clears throat> Uh, flaps trim set. I'm hooked up. 61 miles to the tanker. I'm away. Just coming around <laughs> for the landing on yep. the. Um... I'm just clearing the deck. Rolling. Wheels wet and gear flaps travelling. Rolling out right. Get my speed good. There it is, power back. <laughs> 58 miles to the tanker. He's not quite in position yet, I don't think. He'll just be going to his... Um, can I see his waypoints? No. Yeah. He'll just be getting to his... Um, Orbit start waypoint. Sometime now. Thirty-eight miles to the tank. Got them on the situational. All right, what's Mach point five at this altitude? So look. I won't start a mission unless I trigger one. Just going to see what Mach point five is at five thousand feet. So there's Mach point five. It's about three hundred and five knots. I'll let you know when it goes to four point zero point four six. Yeah, cool. Who joined us? Hello. 
There you go. So he's. Hello. Who's that? Me. Who's me? Me. Don't know who me is. Okay. So f point. Same as usual, yeah. Oh, it's Munson. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, yes. You've not you've not been around so long. I can't tell who you are anymore. That's fair enough. Uh, yeah, same details as usual. Uh, Is that oh. your server, Lover Boys? No. No. Okay. So the tanker, the the one thirty, should be somewhere between two hundred and eighty and three hundred and five knots, Steve, which is more than bet, more than good. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Matt. How, wait, um, it says window out of focus. How do I reset it again? Click on your window. Just means you've not clicked on that window on your computer. Uh, let's see. That happens a lot if you have something in front of your window as well. Yeah, so just make sure your window. Yeah, like mine. Every other program is set behind the window now. And because I've got okay. the because I've got the mouse limited to the window, it shouldn't click on anything else. Right, he's in his orbit now. <laughs> yeah, so you know the one we used to play on the default map, Steve. Yeah, yeah. And we'd we'd added a carrier, haven't we? Yeah, we did. So we've got rid of the, we've got the carrier. We've moved it closer, made it static. Because if it's moving, that's what causes sliding and crashing into each other when you're loading payloads and stuff. No, it didn't do that no more. It does. does still it? does, yeah. Yeah, still oh, does. No, we never had that issue. How fast was your carrier moving? I think it was about 20 knots over the deck. Hmm, don't know then. But either way, we've moved it a bit closer, made it static, because we don't need it to move anyway. There's now, in the north um, west quadrant, far enough away from any targets that it can't trigger stuff, but near enough to be useful, there's... A 135 that's got the boom and a 135 that's got the hose at two different levels. Race tracking. And then there's a KC-130 that wiggles its way through without triggering anything. Down to the coast, roughly 50 miles away from the carrier. So I'm just heading to that to test that. Um, we got rid of the S3 tanker because I think we worked out earlier. Because we took off. Both of us took about... Well, just over four thousand pounds of fuel off it, and then we looked about ten minutes later. It had disappeared off the map, and we think it crashed. Land, yeah. No, no, we think it crashed. We think because um, we looked then, its maximum fuel capacity is seventeen thousand pounds, and we had taken roughly nine off it twenty minutes into its flight. Didn't have enough to last. So um, yeah, I don't think it's worth having such a small tanker. No, that's fair enough. I, mean, I can't find the details again because I can't find your servers. It's um, over bank with a capital A and the password. Uh, uh, said it now. No, that's alright. I made enough. I made enough noise over it. It's alright. Anyone who's watching is obviously a, a cool person, so they can join. Thing is, this YouTube this goes on YouTube, so that's stuck for a while. That's fine, we just changed the password. Oh, and what we've done as well, we've changed the comm frequencies for the tankers um, to 100, 101 and 102. That aligns with whatever uh, TACAN they've got. Okay, cool. To make it easier. What else? And we've... Steve found a, a Persian Gulf map that was similar sort of thing to this. Um... Out to the Nevada, yeah. Uh, similar, well, similar to Nevada and similar to the map we're currently on, the Caucasus one. Caucasus, whatever it's called. Um, does the similar sort of thing? Has air to air, air to ground stuff. We've added carrier and tankers, so we've now got a mission on each map. And a carrier where we can. That has, like, yeah, carrier where we can, air to air tankers on both. Right, this guy, why is he still heading away from me? Jesus Christ. During his orbit. I 
I might have to move the uh, 130s um, orbit a bit further north. Because I don't know if he's any use this far south for a top up and go. I might as well have just gone to target. I would have wasted less fuel. I'll go to him anyway, but I'll edit it so that his orbit's more in line with, well, more northern. Your problem is, what you, I might, well, what I'll do actually, so it's not a problem, I'll make uh, the tankers invisible and invincible, like they did on the other ones. Yeah. Then I can really, I can put them anywhere I want, but you'll only be able to get fuel from it if you've not already triggered the mission that's there. <laughs> oh, should we head back to the tanker and... We can take off as a force ship once Mike gets online. Uh, I'm 20 miles to the tanker. I'm going to try the tanker, mate. And then I'll head back. I'm buster into him now. Well, shall I edit the shall I edit the mission quick, rather? If you want to. Move this tanker yeah, and you. yeah. While we're waiting, yeah, for, cool. it'll take me like five minutes, if that. While we're waiting for Mike. <laughs> no, you're already um, you're hosting it, so. I... Oh. Was I? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I was. Oh, you still need to exit it, but I can uh, I can host it yeah. again. I'll host it again. In a sec. Yeah, go on, uh, what am I wanting? I'm wanting that one. Yeah, that's the tanker. Yeah, that's the tanker. Yeah, that's the tanker. Your head off. I hear you. What's funny is he's not talking about a real human, he's talking about his cat. I know, yeah. Sickening. Jesus, yeah, that's way too far. Well, it's not in a trigger zone. That's not in a trigger zone there, so I could move that there. Move that there. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that carrier thing then, because we don't have no issues with it at the USN. Well, you're just special fuckers, aren't you? Yeah, it must be. It'll all change in a month's time when they get super carrier out. Yeah. Michael. Good oh. evening. Hello. Hi. What are you up to? Uh, just finishing editing something. Right, he's invincible and immortal on all his waypoints. So I can put him a bit closer, so he can basically just fly through. He can get there even quicker then. Delete waypoint one. For him there, and there. Done. Waypoint zero, waypoint one, waypoint two. Ah, waypoint zero needs to be immortal. You've not got a server up yet, no? Uh, there was, but I'm just changing something. Okay. So hold your fucking horses, you bitch.
changing all the tanker tracks, Steve. So that they're all a bit closer. Um, and they're all immortal. And invisible to the enemy. Those stealth tankers, you see. So what happens there? We won't see if there's no, if there's a mission. Huh? No, we'll see it the whole time. No, oh, fair enough. I thought you said invisible. Yeah, invisible to the enemy. Oh, fair do. Hey, Mikey, you all right? Yeah, good, Stevie. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. You're good. You got your uh, your stuff working again now? It all seems to be working. Yeah, that's good. Um, some help with Matt as well. We've been thinking with it all day, making sure we're getting things working. Yeah, that's so frustrating when it's all been working perfectly and all of a sudden it's not. Oh, man. In this menu, standing right next to this MiG-29, Steve, do you know if you can change the aircraft? Because I'd rather like be standing underneath the Tomcat than the MiG-29. Yeah, there is. I used to have a ready room, so you'd be actually in, sat in a ready room. I'll see if just I can make... find it for you again if you want. It's like every time I look at this MiG-29, I just want to like, kick it. All right. Uh, I'm setting up a server. Yeah. Hey. It's the first time we get to free fly three of us in VR. Start. There we go, server's up. Right, they'll be four soon. Hey, yeah. go on, Mike, you need to get the VR. I oh, know. Need to get a computer that can run it. Yeah, yeah, that'll come first. Yeah. I've actually got the face track stuff working pretty good. Probably the best I've ever had it. I mean, you you guys would probably think it's absolutely horrendous, but... Why, are, why right. are the labels on? Don't join me. It's done. It's, the labels are on on this one again. It says label none local. Yeah, hang on. Maybe it's just you. So you uh, don't so want that's to... how you cheat, is it, Stephen? Mission... No, that's not me. They might. Mission options. What do you want? No labels. Click it, and then I'll click none, so it forces none. Easy communications. Radio assets. Okay. Uh, civilian traffic. Ugh, off. Bird percentage. Huh? Ugh, off. What the hell are no, these? Leave some birds on. We want to. We want the chance of a bird sight. Make things interesting. Oh, was, I don't even know what it yeah, was. Yeah, we won't mind. I don't think it'd make you cat. You know, jump up on top of your screen for it. Right there. Resave that. Label should be forced off. Yeah, I ain't worried about the cat standing in front of the screen then, but what worries me if she goes and sits on the bloody keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jettison all web. Yeah. Or eject when you're not expecting it. No, if you end up pressing the fucking, the um the power off button on my keyboard and actually turn me off mid-game, that's probably what the buttons you end up sleeping on. So this map, you can select a mission, or you can trigger it by flying to the area, there's trigger zones. Oh, nice. So don't accidentally fly over an area that's going to trigger a mission if you're on your way to another one. If you want to do a mission, it's easier to select it first because then it won't load another mission as you're flying to it. Make sense? Good. What? Yeah. Can you say that again? No. <laughs> Are you just a little bit slow and a bit more in English? Uh, your mum, your mum, your mum, your mum, your mum, your mum, your mum. Come, your mum is your dad and your brother is your no, uncle. you got it all wrong. Your sister is your mother, your brother is your father. Servers up. Fuck what I'm gonna have, uh, the kidly family. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ground dun, dun, dun. electric plower. Matt has just learnt his first ever football chant. Sure. Copy. Right, let's get four people on this carrier then, shall we? Everyone, everyone on each individual cat, um, catapult. What? Quadru Shit and giggles also will launch at the same time, see what happens. Quadruple launch? Yeah. That'd be fine. If you follow procedure anyway. 
Oh, Steve and his fucking carrier procedures. Me, 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 me. Yeah, I think I'm a professional F-18 pilot because I've got the super bug. And I fly with F-18 Hornet pilots. Lucky bastards. You know it doesn't rub off, right? No, no. Obviously. Are you rubbing one off? Steve. I'm rubbing one off. Oh, I was... Yeah. I'm I'm always rubbing one off. <laughs> Never gets me anywhere though. It's the problem. Oh, that's three of us. Need too much. Waiting for a fourth, or is he behind the tower? What? I'm over at the other side of the tower. Yeah. Hi everybody. Where's Who are we waiting for? Who hasn't connected yet? Who hasn't connected yet? But it's Mike. Oh, I'm into it. Coming in now. Told you it would be Mike. Oh. Look, called it. I was actually in the middle of an approach on a carrier landing training session, so... Oh, no one cares. Tell your sob story to someone who cares. What the hell? <laughs> Play the violin. <laughs> so right. what's the deal? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, I'm going straight to 100 X-Ray. Uh, is that our first mission of the day? Then we're going to go up and tank. Just a to top-up to get you to the coast nice and full <clears throat> what and then we're going to bomb the shit out of us I think yeah I'll even select the mission to do now if you like I'm nice like that should it should it should it be the case since we've got four aircraft we all carry two tanks each so we've got some range to us all to be honest that was probably sensible we could do that I suppose yeah but that's going to take off that's going to take four bombs yeah, but if you think of us, yeah, but we've got two extra aircraft than we normally have. Why am I spawning on the ground, not on a carrier? Because you didn't select a carrier spawn. You didn't select carrier spawn. You need to go back into the main menu. God. Look down until you see on the left menu Hornet Stennis. These kids. The select. Kids these days. Please, we could run the centre line. Yeah, I think centre line, because then we can all still carry lots of bombs. So, centre line fuel tank. And then I'm going um, to take we have reports that a terrorist group is taking some stuff. Small industrial complex yeah, I've set one up. Oh, you set one up. Yeah, before it does it for us. East of the city that is on the northeast bank of the lake. I'm going to take eight big bastards. Eight freeze. Yeah. I'm going to take eight freeze as well then. No, don't copy me. That's what I'm taking. Yeah, it's good for us to all be even, so it's like easier for us in formation, isn't it, blood? Uh, formation's easy for me anyway, so... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do I get on the carrier then? Or just choose an aircraft? Yeah, choose... So, yeah, you, scroll you... down, go for Hornet Stennis. Sorry, Steve. As Stephen rightly told me a minute ago, it's in alphabetical order. Ah, uh, I got you, got you, yeah. No, I've got yeah. you. Right, I think I've set her up as far as I can without actually turning her on. Way, way. Hey, there he is. Four hornets in the carrier. Rearming complete. Right, one is starting. Did I put a tank in the middle? Yeah. Good. Who's next to me then? Steve Munson. Yep. Steve Bingo. Munston. What are we setting bingos to? Uh, Four thousand for the carrier. Or three thousand for the carrier, but then you got to know when to quit trying to land on the carrier. I'm going to go four thousand for the carrier. Because then, at least if I can't make it after a few attempts, I can make a land base. This is static, isn't it? I can set it up so we've got it as our home fuel. So when it comes up home fuel, make your way. Yeah, but home fuel comes up if you put afterburner on sometimes. Because it's dynamic. Yeah, it's dynamic. It doesn't just come up. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. It's dynamic, so, so, like, if I all of a sudden need a burst of afterburner, it'll tell me I'm on home fuel when I'm not. It's just because I'm using afterburner for a minute. Starting the right.
Lights on deck, gentlemen. The lights are on deck, gentlemen. Not allowed them on on deck. Why? Not allowed what? What lights on deck? No, they don't have lights on until they launch. Why? So it's... no left, no formation, no strobes. No, no, nothing. Okay. There well. is a light on and off switch. You can turn them all on and then just. Where's that? Off with ones. I can't remember what it's called, but you know, on the throttles, that switch is sticking out on the left-hand side. It's that. Oh, integrity ring normally inhibits. Exterior light switch on and off. The one that yeah. I can't click. Yeah, you can't click it, no, but you can assign a key to it. Uh, you think I've got spare keys? Yeah. Uh, what have I got? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Maybe those two are spare still. Oh, God, I always have to assign a control just because you tell me. What's its default? What's it called? Not sure. One second, I'll have a look. Probably external light switch. Exterior. Exterior lights on and off switch. Default L. That's the one, yeah. Oh, I'm always assigning controls. That button is already set to something. No, that's the wrong one, that's why. That one is set to toggle night goggles. That one is set to flashlight. We can set it to that because I don't need a flashlight. Right, you're happy. Should should all be I don't even know. Should all be off now on my aircraft. Excuse me. No, they're all on. How about now? Still on. Oh fuck you, Steve. Why would that mine on or off? Off. What have I set that to? What the hell? Why is it set there? External set oh I must have clicked the wrong thing. That's fine. I've Click the wrong thing. That's, that's why it's not working. Now I've external sense line fuel tank control switch down. I don't know. Now where's that switch? Because I need to change that. Well, right. Cap four. That'll be back left, won't it? How about now? Yeah, All my lights should now be off. Yeah, off. Yeah, fuck you. Told you so. Alright. The Takan is getting closer. Uh, wheel chocks. Wheel chocks. Wheel chocks. Wheel. There they are. Remove wheel chocks. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to request uh, clearance to taxi. Oh, Zero, two, I've already started, so that's a bit Zero, nil and void. Sexy, 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 sexy. Who's flight lead? Okay, I'll do it. Can anyone actually hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not going to have me, Steve, because I'll just ignore. <laughs> you don't get. You don't get me with my own. I'm just getting hooked up, lads. I'm now hooked up. I'm ready. Just wait two seconds. All right. Let me hold my wings so it makes my life. There you go. <clears throat> I'll have to let you launch first because you're in front of me. I think if we both had our wings down and I launch first, we'd be colliding. Okay, uh, ladies. Uh, after departure, I'll give you a heading. I still need to sort out weapons and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a cool story, bro. Uh, after departure, it's going to be oh, a. Not right for me on the. T oh, don't worry, ignore me. Did you not press your AA button there, Steve? I didn't press the on button. Oh, well, that won't work then, will it? Uh, it's going to be left turn, heading zero one five roughly for the tanker at the minute. It's fifty five miles away currently.
Your window's still open, mate. Munson. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Just just before you take off with it and it sort of just goes flying. Nah, that's alright. <clears throat> I'm just setting up my uh, trim. What's your trim set to? Nobody launch or anything like that because... I've increased mine up to 18. Yeah, that's what that's I tend to do now. What are you saying, you Steve? want to get a screenshot. Oh, launch, quick, launch. Fuck his screenshot out from there. Too late, got it, motherfuckers. Well, post it somewhere then. Put it on the DCS chat or something. I will do once I fucking finish the bloody mission. That's nice. What are we, uh, what weapons are we carrying, Steve? Uh, right, so me and Matt, we've gone... No, and Steve, line. I think. Have we not, have you gone for the yeah, same, have you? Okay, 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 fair enough. We've got two M9 Sidewinders, two M120s, centre line, <laughs> fuel tank, and we've all got f eight Mark 83 dumb bombs. What's my nose number over here? 026. Oh, okay, good. So it has given us different nose numbers? Yeah, 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 those are the ones that I set up. To, I had 026 for you, oh. 017, I couldn't remember. Mate's, oh, um, I conveniently things. clicked on my birthday one then. Yeah, I conveniently clicked on mine as well, and I forgot Steve's, and obviously I didn't know Mike's. Uh, you can change that as well. So, you the aircraft, you can change it. Okay, uh, just for Mike, a briefing. Give so, me a second. Yeah, we're not going to launch anytime soon, so we're waiting for Mike. The tanker's just coming up to the coast now, so it'll be on station by the time we get to it, um, just off the coast. Once we've tanked, it's going to be an inland head uh, to... We could go to... We could use Takan. Is that a Takan there? I think it is. Uh, no, it's a VOR. That doesn't help. We're going to navigate inland, basically. Um, the other side of... The big lake near Krasnodar. Um, there is targets for the mission I've set. Um, and I can't remember what mission there I set. No, there will be. I'm just finding it out. God, you're so demanding. Uh, the mission I've set, I believe, is factory. They will shoot at you, but it's not like mega dangerous shit. Where is me? I've got to zoom in to click on me. Which one's me? There. Uh, yeah, so it'll be tanker, then it'll be... Oh, it's another one around the same waypoint we did last time, Steve. When my game lets I me I know which one we're doing, yeah. It's the factory one, not the one we did earlier. Yeah, do you think taking 83s is going to be a good idea for collateral damage? Well, fuck it. Okay, fair enough, you're the lead. Uh, it's, ju it's directly south of waypoint one. Not, not by much. Cool. Okay, so I've set my uh, HS up for waypoint one, yeah? Yeah, and set your TACAN up for 100 X-ray airborne frequency. <laughs> that's the tank. That's the tanker, 100 X-ray. So set instead of boxing waypoint, first you want to box uh, TACAN, and once we're finished at the tanker, then you can box waypoint and use that, because that will be the target we're going to. But I'm taking... So press TACAN, and then is it the AA one then I want? Yes. Okay. But I'm gonna be lead, uh, what, so what number was it? A hundred X-ray. You need to switch it on first. I'll uh, I'll yeah. try not to get us all lost. Clear. You know I am I am pretty experienced. I know I know Steve's an F-18 pilot, but yeah, you. <laughs> Is that forty-four point five miles? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's moving, mate, because yeah. it's a tanker. Yeah, got it. Okay, well I'm loaded. That's nice. Are you hooked up? Yeah, yeah. You've got those winders on your tips. At least on, not on your port tip, anyway. Okay. Uh, okay, so if I take one, Munson's takes two, Mike takes three, and Steve take four. As in, take four what? As in position. Flight position. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you bring up the arse end, Steve's on me and Mike, you're on Steve. Okay, when we're inbound, shall we split up into twos? Uh, yeah. Well, inbound to the target, yeah, we will. We'll split into yeah, one, yeah. one and two, three and four. I'm just putting the uh, sidewinders on the tips, then okay. I'm done. There is missions on here you can set, and it does spawn air-to-air -air targets as well. Basically to defend what you're trying to attack. Nice. 
So for the tanker, we'll join echelon left. So it'll be one echelon left. Four of us. Um, should be able to get two, two of us on at once. And we shouldn't have to take much. Maybe a couple of thousand pounds. Shouldn't be on more than 30 seconds. Right, I'm armed. Ready to go. Okay, uh, five seconds between full powers to give us five second gap on launch. One's full power. Two's full power. One's away. Wheels wet. Very full power. Gear flaps travelling. Power's coming back to 95. And it's not a left turn, now it's going to be a right turn. Power set 95, right turns heading 050 for the tanker. Whatever. Your gear looks good down still, mate. It is, that's right. I must have cycled it twice. There we go. 230 knots currently. Speeding up. And tuning in the tanker, uh, you want shell. One, one. I've Nine, requested two, fuel. Request Speed's coming up to 70. Power's still 9.5. Yeah, I've requested as well. Yeah, got that. You join in my left. I've got no visual on anyone yeah, at the minute. Do. Cool. I'll get you visual. We're heading uh, 055 currently, passing 1,200 feet speeds, 320, and um, we'll reduce the power to 90 in a minute once uh, we're nice and stable, about 350. Gentle climb up to 5,000, 37 miles to the tank tanker, and uh, I think it's nose on at the moment, the tanker. There's a four of us airborne. Yeah, four I just airborne overshot you a little bit there, Steve. There we go. Yeah, I've got your visual. Okay. 340 knots. His name is two Steve's now, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Dickhead and dickhead too. No. <laughs> Looking good. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> if number... Oh, Jesus, Mike, what happened there? <laughs> you, you fucking... You lean oh, on... yeah, rejoin skills are not quite there I was going to say, did you lean on your stick or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just waiting for number four, yeah, to, number four to get in formation, you know. Yeah, I'm coming, mate. Chill you, Winston's. <laughs> Level off at 4,000, so we're below the tanker. Looking sexy, people. I don't know if he actually uh, replied to my tanker request. Did he? No. Maybe he's not. He might not quite be on station yet. I'll ask him again. Power's coming back to 9-0. That uh, might have to be 9-2 actually. This was so heavy. Yeah, 9-2. Right turn. Or oh, right correction. Speed's uh, 355. 100 feet till we level off. Starting the level. Speeds 354, powers 92 on the left, 91 on the right. How the hell it does that with one axis? I don't know. 30 miles to run. Looks like he's heading away from us. Yeah. He's, he'll do a racetrack, so he should probably head. He's probably on his racetrack now, so he'll turn around and do a upwards leg as well. I'll head 070 for now because by the time we get to him, he should be on his upward leg. He's about 20 miles closer than he was before I edited it though. Yeah, he's in a left turn now. I can see it on the uh, situational. He's turning. Uh, we're going to steer heading 060, slight left. Starting now. Just because he's in the left turn, so he'll be probably about there when we get to him. Leveling now. 
That's sexy. I can see four of us. Still not talking to me though. Shell one one dodge two four request rejoin. That's me. Yeah, I mean I can hear him on the. Uh, I can hear us all contacting him, but he's not talking yet. What have I got a master warning about? Are you oh. sure it's show? Oh yeah. Yeah, Texaco and Arco are the 135s. Shell 1 1, Dodge 2 1, request rejoin. Could it be because the frequencies are out of range? It could be. Is it easy communications on you, sir? Yeah. Uh, let me tune into his frequency and see if that makes a difference. Okay, it's going to be a left turn. Right ahead in zero four zero to intercept. Fifteen, got him visual. Zero. I'm going to still head zero four zero. Fourteen. I'm wondering if it's because you've changed the uh, frequencies for him. Yeah, I wonder. Shell one one, dodge two four, request rejoin. Well, he's not going to give us anything if we haven't got contact, is he? Shell one one, dodge two one, request rejoin. Yeah, see, when I try and enter one hundred as a frequency, it won't let me. It's too low. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. Right, I'm looking for my fucking fuel transfer switch. Shell one one, dodge two two, request rejoin. Right, should we get it down there near probe? Yep, good, found it, thank you. Uh, right, is it worth just heading straight to target then? Because he's not going to give us fuel if we can't contact him. Oh, I've still got. 1100, I'm fine with that. I'm 11. 11 two on the fuel state. <coughs> we'll stick at this. We'll stick at this power and cruise it there. Then should we switch into waypoint? If not if we had to go to the northern tankers. We just have to head to the northern tankers. Well, no, the northern tankers will have the same issue because the frequencies, mate. I'll change all the frequencies right. back to something in range. Uh, left turn to waypoint. What? Oh no, not a left turn. Straight ahead. Zero two five. Keep it at 5,000 and keep it at this speed. We can always head to one of the northern airfields before returning to the carrier. And I'll just have to edit this mission. I'm hosting, so I can't edit it without you guys dropping. So why don't we do this mission, wait till we've all recovered on the ca carrier, see where everyone's at, and I can quickly edit the frequencies back to... They were at 251, 250 and something else, but the problem was that's the same frequency as an airfield, but I don't think it causes issue. No, I think it's because of the distance on that, isn't it? Yeah, so what I might do is I'll just change them to like 261, 262 and 263. Or 260, 261 and 262. Hey, boys. <laughs> hey, who's that? Is that Steve on my left? Which one's Mike? Yeah, I You'll be oh, on the right. oh there! Oh yeah, battle, battle diamond, Mike, get on my ass pipe. Oh, you're gonna clip me in a minute. I'm nowhere near. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> nope, that's Steve's tailpipe. There you go. Oh, this is stupid. This is stupid, sexy. I don't want to flinch at all. Oh, Steve-o. Autopilot, borrow altitude. <laughs> uh, if you touch me, I will probably die. 
but no one hits each other. I'm more close to Oh, but guys, Stevens, whatever you do, when you when you drop your bomb, don't dive into it too hard. No. Have all my external lights just come on? I forgot to press it. I've just put my externals all on now. Is that right? Yeah. Is that all right with the F-18 pilot? Yeah. <laughs> Should have been when she was on the cat, mate. No, I uh, thought it's once you're airborne. Yeah, fuck you, Steve. Once you launch. Yeah, you did, you did like leave your uh, landing light on. Oh, did I? Well, yeah. your mum left her landing light on, so I landed. I hope your mum's alive. She was. Oops. <laughs> well, I hope you're over it. No, she's over you, though. Ooh. <laughs> well, I jizzed all over her. Okay, enough. I'm streaming and we're on the RAF Discord. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Hiding behind my bomb I'm rack? I'm in. Quite literally. Oh no, I can't see Mike. Where is he? Oh, I can see his fins. I'm on your sticks. Yeah, I can see your tails. I'll come up a bit. If I put wake turbulence on, you wouldn't be sitting there. Hi. No, have you used that? I had to turn it straight off. Yeah, we haven't put it on because everything we've ever flown, I think, has been without it. So I didn't really want to risk it. 50 miles out. I need to do a left turn, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm on the right-hand side. Okay, 10 degree left turn. Here we go. Just to zero, 020. Zero. Leveling. Level. Level now. You're climbing. Well, only a tiny bit. Everyone loving all these trees. My frames, my frame levels aren't too bad. My frame rates aren't too bad right now. Considering how many trees I'm loading, I'm getting 43-ish frame rates. But my frame times are at 20. So, you know, can't complain. It's a smooth 43. See the big... Between 40 and 50. Never had that many frames on the sim. <laughs> right, you see the lake. I was struggling to get 25. That's disgusting. You see the lake ahead of us, yeah? Yep. Right hand side. Yeah, I'm yeah. at you right, right, right hand yeah. side, northern edge is the target area. <sighs> Gonna be a right turn in a minute. I'm just trying to get us. Break off and I'm yeah, flight two break. Thank you. Bye, Steve. Off you go, Michael. I'll oh, move off to your left slightly. Roger. Oh, look at that. I mean, you don't, yeah, you don't need to go too far, just so as long as we're split. It's a horny battle formation. Everyone got their countermeasure set up? Yep. Yep. Manual fuse. Nose. Quantity one, multi one, shishi IP. Wonderful. Excuse me. I've lost your mind, was down. Yeah, you literally, if you'd have been a foot higher, you wouldn't have any tail fins now, and I wouldn't have a nose cone. You're right under me, do not pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up yeah. Now you can. <laughs> My god, how long was your head down? 20 minutes? <laughs> a bit longer than that. How did my I power... I like like that. <laughs> don't know how, but my power reduced. I must have knocked the power... Must have knocked the throttle. Well, I mean, you were head down, so... And you're, you're following pilot, so... Uh, I guess at 95 power now. I can feel a cat in front of me. <laughs> Scare it. <laughs> Where's my drink? Jesus. Mimi, I like kind of need to get to my keyboard. You in the fucking way? Really? <laughs> what just spiked me? An F-18, it's, it's fine. Shooting the gun. 
So, Mike, just before we approach waypoint one, you'll see like um, you got a town on the coast of the lake, and then to the right, you see like another town. It's a factory. At the end of it, there should be like a little kind of factory where the um, where the um, targets are. Okay. Uh, the, you see, so you're going for the um, the stratosphere kind of approach. See hmm. what? Why well, eighteen thousand? Should do forty degree nose down for a bomb. <laughs> nah, fuck off. Yes, yeah, definitely team pilot. It's actually, uh, however, nose down you need to be for your CCIP to hit in my books. So. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Pull out at two hundred feet. You, you'll be fine. My, it when there's a cross, yeah? Yeah. You know what my best friends are? Snake eyes. <laughs> Snake eyes and airs. Because at least they slow down and let me get out of the way. <laughs> 40 degree nose down? Nah. Yeah. Nah, just go in at 7. And CW Leon says that. As well, he says 45 degrees. What, every time? Yep, every time, yeah. You must come in from some right height then. About 25,000. If you look at one of his videos, he has an onboard shot where he releases two um, unguided bombs. He explains it all. Oh. Don't care. Is that the factory on... We have a deck around. <laughs> Is that the factory on the right? It's right in the middle of the field there, yeah. Right, uh, right now. No, no, no. Are you guys over it? No, so it's the... Okay, so it's short It's short of waypoint one. See this town on the left coast, on the coast? Yeah. Right in front of it, yeah. Yeah, and then to the right of that, you've got a, a gap and then another little settlement. Oh, yeah. it's little, yeah. It's that little settlement. Oh, That's the factory. Right, I'm just going to climb, guys, because I need to make sure I've got 40 degrees to uh, drop this bomb. Visual on the factory, I think. So yeah, guys, if we can just drop from 40 degree angles, that would be great. With a hard deck of 8,000. Do you have visual on it, Mike? Yeah, I spot it, yeah. I think cool, I well, it. what we'll do anyway, we'll sit on a, we'll sit on a, um, an um, oval over the lake, let them do their thing, and then we can come in and drop ours afterwards. What's uh, your fuel okay. I mean, I've actually got to get visual on a target. All I see is the settlement at the minute, you know. Where are you off to, Steve? Is this not it that I'm over the top of, or is that it in the middle there? You're over I'm the lake. To work out. No, I'm not. I'm right on the coast. Oh, who's on the lake then? Um, see the smoke. The shot, smoke shot. Yeah, smoke. Yeah, that's smoke. That's the target. No, that's no, that's the that's the friendly. That's the friendly one. It's the complex that I'm about to bomb. Okay. Alright, I've got visual on a few targets. I'll uh, I'll make one smoky. Red smoke is Mike. It's just to like you got the uh, to the right of it. You got the brown grass and then a little settlement just to the north of it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the yeah. apartment area. No, I've no, got the, it. Um, factory stove, me. Altitude. Okay. Altitude. One away. I'll stay with you on your left side. You'll s you'll see it in a sec because stuff's gonna blow up. There. That complex. Yep, see him. See him, Mike. See it, the one's on. Yeah, we'll fly over bound and we'll make a, we'll make a right in turn now. Okay. Turning in. I'm going to reduce, our to, I'm going to reduce my focus to 903. So we um, don't obviously burn our fuel needlessly. Are you staying on the same side you just hit, Steve? Oh, did you? Right. Oh. What are you launching at? Uh, just there's a group of cars or something like that, or trucks. Okay. Just rough. Ah, uh, just. Altitude. Altitude. I mean, I didn't miss my target, and uh, I'm not an F-18 pilot. I'm not going to miss that target either. That's going to. Oh, that's going to hit nicely. There you go. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. You've got more hours in this than I have now, haven't you? I probably have, actually. In this, yeah, but you know, you're an F-18 pilot. You fly the uh, VRS Superbug, mate. 
Oh yeah, that's completely different to this. You're basically elite compared to any of us. He's gonna snap in a minute. We'll get there. <laughs> Although he's got plenty of kids, so I doubt you'll uh, be snapping at me. Inbound. Yeah, inbound. What heading are you on? Uh, zero two zero. Copy, I'm one five zero. I'm going for the same sort of area of targets that I've already hit. Yeah, I'm going to the north side of the complex. Roger, I'm on the uh, east side of the complex. Nice. So sure, I got you, visual. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I can feel you again. Oh yeah, see you. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Nice. Nice hits, mate. Nice hits. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get all those gases in a minute. Turn him yeah, back in. You break him right. Oh, I'm breaking. I'm coming across your nose. Oh, I'm breaking left, so that's not me. That's not you, no? No, because I'm in a left turn. I've got your visual now. You're kind of above me. Oh, yeah, I see you. That was me, then. Yeah, it looked like you were turning right. As an F-18 pilot, you should know what right and left is. Right, well, I'm going to have to bug out for 10 minutes. I'll do this bomb run and I'll stick myself in an orbit above Altitude. the target. Altitude. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Shopping's here. Uh, so is the wife, no? I'll make sure she doesn't hear that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clearly, she's getting ideas about her station. <laughs> you two can come in and have a go now if you want. There's only me around it. All right. Just don't All go. Right, don't go for the. Loop. Don't go for the target group. Oh, mate, you You'll be able to see the target group I'm gone for, and I'm still going for it. Yeah, we want to go to that big ass factory. Go on, mate. Do you want to go in? All right. I'm going to break left and uh, come around and. Run in from over the top of the smoke screen and in that way. Copy. I'll be over the water, breaking left. Fuck me, the factory is gone, isn't it? Well, we're not going for the. You, you don't want the buildings, you want the. I don't, I don't think it matters, but. Oh, getting shot at. Yeah, collateral damage. Oh, there, there. See that? That was about eight different vehicles gone at once. Yeah, it looks like it's being fucked up a lot down there now. There's still more. Quite a few more. Uh, on the south side of it, you'll see the long hangar, southern side of that, in between the little buildings that are south of it. There's a three or four targets there. Turning in. One away. Okay, oh. we're inbound. Zero nine zero. Got you on data link. Height you at? Fourteen thousand. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you up there then. <laughs> I'm three away from Bingo. We're flying. Still away. Ooh. Going for that factory just to see if I can hit it. <laughs> it's a big target. Oh, you know that's not the target there, yeah? I'll go for anything else after that then. As in, you're hitting something we're not supposed to destroy. Okay. The targets. There's, the oh, there's loads of vehicles. Oh, I didn't see them. Uh, yeah, you won't until you. Impact. Yeah, wait. Altitude. It might take a while Altitude. if you're at 14,000 feet. No, I've not here seen anything yet, though. No, me neither. Uh, one away. I've got one left. Yeah, that you drop yours, Mike. Uh, Matt, and I'll come in. 
Cool. Turning in. It's one target I'm determined to get. It's because I'm not giving it a stable enough. I'm giving it a dis decelerating release, that's the problem. This would have been better with laser guided bombs really, wouldn't it? Yeah, but Mike needs his practice with free falls. Oh, there we go. Took me three bombs, but I'm out. Right, Winchester on bombs. Cool. She's all yours. In. We're going into a uh, defensive orbit. She's out, runs to the rest. Height you're at? I'm at 10,000 myself. Oh, okay. I'm just over yeah, the lake. Just under 10. Pause inbounds. Oh, I got a follow. Thank you for the follow. I can't see your name because I got my headset on. Sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Man, oh, you back there somewhere? Meh. Ooh, my headset freaked out then. Okay, three turning inbound again. Roger. Two's inbound to the east. Do you want? Some help getting on target. I can tell you where there's some are because I'm orbiting and I can see them. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned that the other two didn't go off. They did, mate. They fell well short. I can see them in a field. Oh, is that them? Yeah. The two spots that are nowhere near the targets. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Did you release with the crosshair? Or did you... Yeah, yeah. What, in full view or just at the bottom of your head? Full view. Okay. Were you decelerating? Uh, no. Okay. It's outbound 120. Right, so that long... Right, the long the long hanger you were heading for... Ah, oh, someone's hit a target there. The long... That was just me, probably. Was that the one you... So the long hangar to the south of it, in between some buildings, there's like one vehicle left there, I think, next to one that oh, someone's okay. just hit. And then just, oh. nor just north of it, the north uh, northwest corner, there's a vehicle. And then just north of it, there's two vehicles in like the courtyard, the open courtyard. Okay. I think there's only one target left where I was shooting. And I'm going to get him on my guns because he's going to piss me off if we don't get that one target. She's turning in bands. East. Roger, I'm clear according to my situational. Turning inbound from the east. Right, where's that target? Altitude. Yeah, get away from me Altitude. that easy. There he is. Pull it out. Did I get him? Did I get him? I think I did. Oh, home fuel, apparently. Fuck off. Uh, I'll take my bingo down to two thousand pounds. Oh, two and a half. Sorry for ground, for a land base. Again. 
Sorry, it's pulling G. Yeah, I did get my target. I think he might still be alive, but he's definitely smoking. He's out bouncing enough. Roger. Yeah, so target in the courtyard between the... Well, it's where there's a line of smoking vehicles, that courtyard. There's one at the corner of the hangar and there's two in the courtyard. Yeah. Well, if no one else deals with them, I've got guns. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, I've got six Michael, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> right, note to self: <laughs> don't let Mike use three, four bombs when he's when he's laser guide when he's able to do laser guided. How did you drop? Well, did, right? did he just killed himself? No, he's no. just shot him like. I've learned that. Bit. I've learned that lesson. About I've two about two hundred meters short. He's doing every. He's he's not hitting the target. He's just he's making them scared by it in every single field that's around them. I'm frightening the animals away, so... Yeah, that's it. Clear. The farmer's going to have fun ploughing that field after I'm done with it. I just wonder how you're getting them so far off. Are you flinching, or yeah. are you, is it a stable release? No, stable, yeah. I'm I'm making sure to pull the stick back afterwards, put it that way, but yeah, I'm not... How, so, how soon way. afterwards, though? How low... Oh, I, I, probably a second after I've clicked okay, the Okay, yeah. How low after you... How low are you releasing? Five thousand. Mm. See, for me, that's high. I release probably yeah. about two thousand, three thousand at the most. We're coming again. So get it clear. So the vertical line below the uh, flight director thing, yeah. Yeah. But that's the vertical line that extends to the bottom of the HUD. Yeah. And then there's a crosshair at the bottom, but very bottom of it. Yeah, that's it. It's just a horizontal solid line, isn't it? That moves up and down depending on your nose. No. No. No, at the bottom of that line there is a crosshair. There is a cross. Oh, I haven't got that. You have. You're just not diving enough, maybe. Okay, so a steeper angle, yeah. Yeah, in your what angle are you coming in at? Maybe at about when C twenty five. And what speed? Over four hundred knots. No, that should be more than enough. Have you got CCI you got CCIP in your head? Yeah, yeah. You should have a crosshair at the bottom of that. Crosshair at the bottom of that vertical line. Yeah, if you're just seeing like a line at the bottom of your HUD, it means yeah. that crosshair is off your HUD. It's too low. Right. Okay. Try again. Come do it. Do a dive to see that crosshair. Because if you're not seeing that crosshair, you're never going to hit. Because that that's probably why. No. I was going to say. Forty-five degrees down at four hundred and fifty knots. I'm not seeing a crosshair. Altitude. Altitude. Okay. You got eighty three selected. Multi quantities one. Have you got man mechanical fuse selected? Yeah. Um as nose, yeah. And your mode is definitely CCIP, not auto or anything. Ah. What? Uh, that was a big ah, like you've just discovered you've no, it's okay, no. It's, the only crosshair I've got is I've got my HUD on. You know, when I, like, turn my head, I can still see my HUD. Oh, fuck that off. That's, yeah. Well, Steve recommend I do that. I found it quite useful at times. Oh, okay. Well... Let me turn that off. Turn that off while you're doing this, because you don't need it, because you I'm out of, uh, I'm out of bombs now, anyway. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering why you're not seeing CCI at the, uh, correct... Fuels four four thousand five hundred. Yeah, you're still good. You're good down to two and a half. There's a land I'm just base. Just gonna loiter and throw it back. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right, I'm gonna go in with guns, Steve. You still shooting? I have still got four bombs remaining. Are you inbound yet? No, I'm just outbound at the moment. I've dropped four. Oh, okay. Got four target. I've just got another four bombs remaining. Roger, I'm going for the corner of the warehouse one. I can't do anything with the uh, the missiles, can I? No, you can do stuff with your guns if you want to have a go. But I just have to be an air to air for that. No, air to ground with your guns. There you go. Just took one out. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Uh oh. There's not okay. enough light in my okay. room. Res hacking disappeared. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Really? Really, you would do that to me? What's happened? We crashing into the ground right about now. It's decided it's like. 
minded that a minute ago, it freaked out because I it couldn't see enough of my room. It's not like that's right in the room and now it wants to do the Guardian thing. I'm not bothered about that right now, please. I'm gonna cut him with guns then, have a go. Alright. Switch to air to ground guns, CCIP. You can't get anything wrong with that. I'm just wondering what indication you're actually seeing. Right, I'm back. Where are we, guys? Uh, there's a couple of targets left. Mike's uh, scared all the cattle away in the fields. <laughs> okay. There you go. I'm back in this game. Uh, what's left? Uh, oh, there's, there's one target left um, in the northwest courtyard, and it's a soft target. I've got three bonds. You'll be able to get that then. Yeah. yeah. I'm loitering low level over the uh, over the lake. I've got you visual. It's me coming over the top now. I'll see if I can get visual on the target and take another second round. Who's that shooting guns in the field? Mike's having a go. What, in the field? Jesus Christ, Mike, you're not in range yet. Wait for it to say in range in your HUD. I think it did. Couldn't see. Oh, I can see my bomb crater, so. Yeah. Soft target, yeah? Yeah, it's a Ural, uh, North Courtyard, left hand side as you're coming in then, where there's loads of fire and smoke, uh, I'll try yeah. and, I'm just going low level over it, I'll try and describe exactly where it is for you, it is, not visible, where the fuck is it, oh it's under those trees I think, under the under trees, the trees yeah. yeah I think it's right by the tree, I think I saw it as I passed. Coming up over the top. Mike, I'll send you a link to the stream after this and you can see the you'll see when I'm dropping bombs what I'm actually seeing in my head. Yeah, that'd be good. Um and then compare it to what what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's a uh, one and Steve's just had it if he's got that right tree. I've not seen your bomb land yet. I've not dropped yet. Oh, that'll be why. I'm, ter I'm loitering over. Oh, Roger, I'll tell you. I'm loitering over target, so. Yeah, that should be it. If it's. Well, it's pretty close, if not. I'm pretty sure you got it. Just coming over the target. Um. No, you drop long. You need to drop shorter than that. It's. It's the. It was the other tree. Tree nearest. Red. Alright, I'll come in from the other side, that should give me a better choice. Yeah, from the other side, it's the furthest tree away from you in the courtyard. Okay. What height are you at? Because I'm nose on with someone. Uh, I'm just climbing 6,000, oh, so yeah. inbound again. Yeah, I got you above me. You see it? I can't see it. Yeah, okay. Did you see it, did you? No, not yet, I haven't. So if you come in from the west along the courtyard, it's furthest away on the left. There's a tree. No, you come in from the west. Right, no, come in from the west, yeah. So you've got the line of vehicles that are smoking, it's on the very end of the, the three. It's a Ural. If I had guns, I'd fuck it, but... I have nothing left. I'm, I'm dry. One away. I could aim a one. Aim. That's... I could aim and aim nine at it and hope. That'd be good if I bore sighted and aim nine onto it. I don't see nothing from the map. That should all be done. No, there is one on. The, well, there was one on the map. Uh, uh, I can't see shit. My BR's gone. <laughs> gone out the block. Right. Fuck it. Where's my aim nines? There they are. I'm having a go with an aim nine. <laughs> what have I got to lose? They're saying play area not found, and I can't do anything. Have you got yours back, Steve? Yeah, I have. I think I'm crashing here. I can't oh, is that you? Know. That might be you, yes. Yeah. Oh, did you just pull up? Yeah, I did. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. We've, we've won. 
Okay, I'm going to whatever it is, center. Trigernogorsk. I don't know. I'll form up on anyone I can find. Uh, I'm down, and I? Um, no, I'm still seeing three other airplanes flying. Someone joining me? Oh, hang on, nope. There is a there's a steaming turd to the north. That might be you. I've no longer got three aeroplanes uh, airborne. Who's who's two nine zero at nine hundred feet? Uh, heading to that's oh, me. Long, zero zero, yeah. Yeah, along the I'm top. I'm on your sixth. Roger, I'm along the top of the lake. Now banking left. All right, two seconds. I'll be back. We've got. Roger. I might quickly change the tankers. And reset the code. Uh, we've just hit bingo. Yeah, that's cool. We're heading to a well. landfield now. Uh, on your ATC, you go to ATC and go to uh, Krasnodar Center and just request inbound. Krasnodar, okay. Uh, uh, just inbound, yeah? Yeah. It just lets them know you're inbound. It'll give you a heading, but if you just fly off me. Are you already inbound there, Steve? O'Connell? Yeah. Where are you off to? I've got you at 11,000.9. Well, I'm going to be heading to Preston now. Oh, so okay. Oh, were you going to go to? You going to go and try me at the uh, carrier, were you? I would. do. I still had four and a half thousand pounds. I don't seem to be the only one that seems to look after his fuel. <sighs> well, I got three and a half. Could probably make it, but it's not much of a reserve if I can't if I uh, don't land it. Don't quiet me when you're sitting on the fucking keyboard, cat. You with me, are you, Michael? 400 knots. On your left, yeah. So you are. Two, two. <laughs> Bit of mirror. <laughs> yeah. Over. I'll strike, I'll stay as level as I can. Where well, I've lost you now. Oh, you're there. Speed up. Speed up? I need to. S no, me. Oh, I'll just so format on you. Yeah. I'll just maintain as level as possible. There mm. we go. Trimming down like a mother. No, you're not quite under me yet, though. Where are you? There you are. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> We're good. Airfield's on the nose, mate. Okay. Join me for a run and break if you like. Yeah, I'll be coming in now. Sort this trim out now. Awfully trimmed down at the moment. There we go. We're at 2500 on fuel. 2500, mm -hmm. yeah, fine. We're basically there. Oh, I've lost audio. What? Oh, I lost you for a second there. Sorry. Join up, bitch tits. I'm coming. Bit far behind, come on. Get your power on. And final zero nonchalance. Roger, we're a reverse uh, we're on a downwind break. Can't even see you. Are you short fire? Oh, I'm with you. Yep. <coughs> oh yeah, see you on the runway. I think. Or maybe not. 
I think you're at the wrong airfield, Steve. No, I'm at the right airfield. What, you're at Krasnodar Centre? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I hate to tell you, but you're not. Gonna go into a left hand turn to finals, Mike, burning off the uh, speed now. Roger. So it'll be a hard pull round. Gear and flaps travelling. Finals. I don't know if you can get arms where you're going, Steve. Gears down, flaps down. That was, uh, that was me by accident. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you probably wouldn't have seen it, just a radio message I saw. Oh. Oh, on finals behind you. Roger. Wheels on. Brakes. And speed brake. Well, we achieved the mission. Yeah. Wheels on. Brakes. Speed brake. While I quickly sort these tankers out, Mike. Why don't you go to my stream, rewind it to when I was bombing, and have a look what CCIP Rectical looks like. Okay. I, just, I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what you could be seeing. Mm. That's just a line at the bottom. I feel like you might be le releasing it in auto rather than CCIP, because with auto you get a horizontal line for when you're in range, but that's only for guided weapons. You can use it for CCIP, but you need to designate and unless you've designated right. with your HUD by accident, because you can designate a target with your HUD, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Is that right, Steve M? It's not here, is he? Alright. I'll wait till everyone's landed, then I'll go edit this mission quick. What are we doing? Just a rearm, refuel, same stuff? Uh, the mission's gonna end. Because I need to change those tank. Oh, okay. I'm gonna change those tankers so we can actually use them. Okay. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Right. I figured out why I couldn't get it sorted. There what? was no batteries in my fucking controllers. Ah. So that come up and I couldn't do nothing. Ah. Right. Is everyone landed? Except from Steve, Steve M. I'm just turning off now. Oh, I landed. Yeah, I know, you're in a pile of rubble at the top. Um, Alright, server's going to end, so it'll time out. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to edit it and put those tankers back to a working frequency. So we can actually use them. But we could all launch from the ground base and go straight to the tanker, I suppose. Uh, mission editor. At least I know. I didn't know whether it was in range or not. I said that, didn't I, when I was doing it earlier, Steve? I didn't know if they'd be in range. So what do we reckon put them to? 251's what they default at, so I'll put it around that. To... What about if I go for 260? 260 for the C-130. What's the TACAN for this one? 202. Or I could do it in 26. Yeah. 262 for this one. <sighs> 261 for that one. And 2. What's that one going to be? 260. Are they work in the 200s. Hey? They work in the 200s. Well, they were 250. The default it puts at is like 251. Oh, okay, fair enough. So I've gone for 260, 261, and 262. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Because the airfield 
um, is 251. That was the problem. That's why I changed them in the first place. Yeah, the airfield is... Oh, no, the airfield's 253, this airfield. So I'm going to guess 261's got to be in range of 253's there. Do you think? Yeah, I would have thought so, yeah. Yeah. So I was just looking at ours that we used to have. Well, the frequencies yeah. that we used. We used 357 and that. Oh, right, so it must be in range. Just maybe so the... Thought, yeah, just maybe, maybe ones were just too low. Right, starting the mission up. I'm gonna t I'm gonna do a ground based start at the airport where the tankers are. Uh, it's starting. Uh, anything above two two five to three nine nine. By the right, way. okay, so we're good. Right, it's up. I'm gonna load at Krasnodar Center airfield in an F eighteen. When I find one, there. Just don't not see. Oh no, Krimsk. Sorry, I'm loading at Krimsk. You should see it any minute. It's all on pause and everything. Oh, it's Krimsk where the uh, tankers start. Yeah, they're all starting. Yeah, found. But I will be recovering to the carrier. Yeah, copy. Oh, there's only three there. Oh no, there isn't. Just different position, that's all. Yeah. Oh, also, some of them are placeholders, which you can still use. Okay, fair enough. Seeing the uh, tanker going right in front of me, is that you tomorrow? Yeah, it is. That tanker, that's the F 16 tanker, that's the Air Force tanker. Then we'll see behind it is the Drogue tanker, and then behind that will be a C 130 tanker, which will do its route to the coast. Discuss what mission we're doing. Head to ground again. Uh, yeah. I'll set one up if you want. Do you want a medium one? Yeah, why not? Actually, I'll set another easy one for Mike. I'm going to set one that me and Steve did earlier. So, a load of targets in the middle of a field. You can't miss them. <laughs> sure. Have you had a look at the video yet, Mike? Uh, I did, but it wouldn't let me rewind it for some reason. Who are we waiting on getting in? OB. I'm in mate, I should be next to you. You're in yeah? Next to you mate. Oh yeah you are, yeah. with the red tail. And there's the C-130. Yeah, I'm Why is, my, why is my HUD so dark? Cool, yeah, I have. I put it all the way up. Cool, Brightness is all the way up. Flight 
literally it's so faded as if I hadn't put it on oh is it on it's because I've flicked it onto night by accident fixed There goes the C-130. See if we can talk to the tanker now. Shell, you're going to talk to me. Yeah, but he might just tell me to fuck off. At least I know you can hear me. He's not said anything back. Oh, there you go. I've just heard him speak on the frequency that he's airborne, so we're good. Nice. And we're going to want Texaco, I believe, is our tanker. He'll be on 102. Takan 102. I mean, you guys do what you want. I just want to have a go do some more tanking. Yeah, I'll yeah I'm always happy practice. for these. Experience it. Well, I'll just shut up then. And we'll go tanking. <laughs> I, I don't want to be bossing you about. I'm just hosting it. You do what you want. I, I've set a mission in progress. So, the briefing for this mission. You can't cause collateral damage. Because there's nowhere to cause it. Um, same sort of area. Um, around waypoint one. But it's in the middle of a field. In, in the open area just north of the lake. You'll remember it when you see it, Munson. It's one of the ones we've done a few times when we were playing this map before. Yeah, okay. I've set it mainly for Mike's benefit. Okay. Being lazy doing an auto start. Auto start takes bloody longer. Yeah, it gives me a chance to go in the menus and sort out my loadout and stuff. Oh. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm carrying the same loadout as previous. I'll wait on the taxiway. You had your nav set to, uh, you had your uh, INS set to nav on that last sortie, didn't you, Mike? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, just checking. Is that so an I'm going to go out and start attacking some of the targets in order to head back towards the tanker. Okay. Um, there we are. Then you got what? You're going to head back towards the tanker? Carrier. Oh, okay. Are you then jumping off, are you? Uh, probably will be because it's all done. It'd be probably about just after tennis or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm armed and fueled, ready to go. Right, let's get on our way to the tanker then. You nearly ready, Munson? Yeah, nearly.
No. I'll take the full spot. You got full flaps there, Steve. No, just half. Oh. Are we doing a formation takeoff? Would you want me to go and you look? Uh, you go, mate. I'm going to wait for Mike. Take him to the tanker. You're a big boy, Steve. You can catch up with us. Yeah, copy. <laughs> is that you on the runway, Stephen? Then that's Steve gone. This is me. Waiting for you. You ready to go? Yeah. What bombs have you got on? 82s or 83s? 82. Oh, okay. You know they're smaller, right? Oh, okay. Come on. Right. Full power. Roll him. Full power. One sixty. Rotate. Gears coming up. Flaps traveling. Power's coming back to 95. Wait for you to be stable with me and then we'll start the climb. Tanker's just going just coming up to 40 miles away from us. But it should turn back towards us to fuel. You with me? Catching up. Roger. What are you visual mate, you're gonna start a climb now. It's not gonna be heavy. Okay. But we need to we've got 30, 30 miles Um to get to the tanker level. So get your ATC menu up, select tanker, select Texaco one one, Texaco one and one, intent to refuel. Six, one. <laughs> ATC menu for the tanker, yeah? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Tanker's at 19,000. Sorry, tanker eight. F's. Uh, main tanker. Huh? Is it main tanker? I don't know. Oh, no. Shell. Nope. Texaco. Texaco, sorry. Yeah. Sensor refuel. Alright, he's on his leg towards us now. Um, okay. So I'm going to go full power and get to 19,000 feet. Heading 010. Zero, zero. Um, just because he's at 25 miles and closing fast now, so. And then we'll recover to the carrier once this mission's either complete or out of bombs. See what fuel we're at at that point, but we shouldn't be too bad considering we're tanking pretty close. You got me visual still, yeah? I've got your visual left turn, yeah. Okay, good. Increasing the uh, climb when it gets to 19,000. He's approaching quite fast now because he's on a southbound leg. He'll be joining us right to left. He's at 19,000 and he'll be roughly 300 knots speed, I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to jump off and jump back in again for some reason. I've got the same issue, you know, like we had before, where I just kept pitching. Oh, okay, yeah. I've never, I've never had it, but I've only ever had it on this map. Oh. Strange. 11 miles to the tanker. He's just coming on our nose now at this height. I've got him visual. Okay. You got him visual? I've got him visual, yeah. Cool. Zero, yeah, straight ahead, yeah. 
six, six miles, not seven miles, sorry. Closing fast now because we're approaching at 90 degrees, so. I'm not, I'm not full power now, by the way. I'm adjusting. Nah, no, that's no, jet. Three miles. I'll form on your left. Okay. It'll probably clear us both on. I'll see which hose comes out for me. Gonna take up his left echelon to get his speed gauged. Yeah, whoever puts him first, it'll be the left hose comes out first. That's what I thought. Makes no sense really. He should clear to the right hose first, because that's going to be the furthest away. Then he can clear someone onto the left without crossing. Yeah, you'd think so. Alright. Go close in. Probes out. Where you at? There you are. Probe is um, right at the right DDI, isn't it? The nope. Where are you looking? Right DDI, bottom right, above the hook. No. No. Where was it? Uh, is it left side? Left or? side, behind your throttle, slightly left. Join in. This, uh, might, yeah. this might be an overshoot because I was concentrating on looking for you, looking for your for the probe for you. Even though I knew where it was, made no sense. Where's he gone? There he is. We're good. We can come back down to him. Coming back down to join left echelon on the tanker. Right. You're going to take the left wing, yeah? Uh, yeah, just for now. Just to gauge the speed yeah. of the tanker. I'm moving to your right now. Okay. Still behind you, though, so you've got clear clearance to go left or right Roger, right his speed um, yeah it's about 300 knots ok right gonna report ready for contact he's starting his left turn so this will be fun ready recontact I've been cleared in. Hopefully, this is the hose he wants me to go to. I asked first, so... Yeah, I've not asked yet deliberately, just to give you time. Oh, to... no. I don't think it is the hose. <laughs> Hang on, I don't think it is that hose that I'm supposed to be going to, because it's not connecting. Let me try once more. I'm pretty sure I should be on the right hose, then. <coughs> See in a sec. Is the right hose out, though? Both hoses. No, it's not. It is for me, both hoses. Oh, really? Yep. I can't see it. No, that happens sometimes. Happens sometimes, yeah. I can only see the left, so... Yeah. That might be the one for you, then. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm in. Alright. Yep, so you're the one on the right. Moving in for the right wing then. Roger. What is happening here? I nearly fell up. I nearly fell up then. Just lost contact for a second. Putting it back in. About 295 he's at, but we're in a, I think we're in a slight turn, I can't really tell. I think we are, very slight turn. There we go, yeah. Yeah, about 295. What's the tech on? Uh, 102. X-ray. Chasing the basket too much there. Got into an oscillation. Try again. 
I literally need about 300 pounds and I'm full. Fuck it. That's me complete, disconnecting, rolling over, that's out, and we're clear. See if I can get up here quickly. It's cool, the other day we had one in observation and two on the hoses. Okay. I'm in. Roger, move forward slightly so you don't lose it, but don't go too far forward. Looking good. Maybe go a little bit forward. Yeah, keep that position till you're full. I'm on the outside of the turn. Texaco, one, one, Colt, eight, one, request rejoin. Oh, got you coming in fast, mate. One, Texaco, one, one, Might want to get up to this height, though. <laughs> there you go, you yeah, climb. Yeah, I see you climbing now. Not visually, but I probably could if I looked for you hard enough. I got your visual. Cool. Your ex. There you go. Complete, yeah. Yeah, we'll wait for Steve now. Gotta draw my right wing. Yeah, Rod. We're flying. Right. We'll stay on reform, Steve. Yeah, copy. Uh, three miles. Oh, I'm clear. Cool. Should start a northbound leg soon. So it's about 300, yeah? Uh, 295 I was getting. Yeah. Exactly return pre contact on close. Return pre contact. Oh fuck uh, me. Just overdone it. Yeah. No, I was gonna say I think I I think I'm left hose because he's telling me to return pre contact when I'm right behind the right hose. Ready pre contact. <coughs> Clear contact. That you? Yeah, that was me trying. I think I'm just too far. Ready, recontact. Return, recontact. Contact. Ready, recontact. I'm there, surely. Ready, recontact. Disconnect. My transfer is complete. Moving right. Copy. Where are you, Mike? I've lost you. Just below and behind contact. Steve. Just just right of you, Steve, now. Clear contact. Let's <laughs> pull out the left hose for me. At least we're heading towards waypoint one now. 
50 miles to waypoint one. So you haven't been on this for a while? No, last time I was with you. Oh. When's the last time you tanked? Long time ago. Oh yeah, you can tell. <laughs> no mate, your probe, not your nose. Nowhere oh. near my nose. Oh. Try to put me on. Oh, there's Mike. There he is. What do you reckon? 30 seconds you'll be done? Yeah, it shouldn't be long. I did use a lot coming up here though. I was going to say, Not you must have burned it. it. See if I can see the pilots. No. Transfer complete. I'm done. Roger, I'm forward and right of the tank. I got you visual. Um, we're going to be right hand turn away. I got, bing I got bingo set for 4,000 to go to the carrier. Uh, Steve, what was the carrier attack on again? 4-2? 4-2 x-ray. 4-2 x-ray set. Ready for the recovery. Uh, what, currently or turning two? No, the um, tank, the carrier. I ain't got a clue, why? I just wonder what inbound we've got to come on. Oh, what the runway heading is, I ain't got a clue. We'll find out when we get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's alright. Waypoint one on the nose, yeah. 40, uh, 40 miles. Oh, stay left. Okay, I'm right. Oh, your voice has gone distorted. Head to ground, 83s. Right, click your 83, make sure you're in mode CCIP. Mike? Yeah. Then mechanical fuse nose. And then you should have uh, a vertical line, and then down somewhere you'll have wings, and you'll also have. Uh, oh, I know what you're looking at. There is a horizontal line, but that works its way down as you as it reaches the bottom. It's when that reaches the bottom and it turns into a crosshair. Definitely should turn into a crosshair though. Okay. Yeah, if it's too shallow and that, it might not. Yeah, but he was at 400 odd knots and 25 degrees nose down. Oh, fair enough, yeah. No, so you'd, I think it would have shown, but it depends how high he is as well, because then if he's high as well, even it won't show at that degree and speed. So keep flying until you see the crosshair. If you don't see a crosshair, don't release, because shit ain't going to work. Light, lights off, going tactical. Yeah, because they're not going to see us coming at this not time of day. One on my right, one on my left. You got any damage on yet, Stephen? Damage is done, mate. Uh, you out? Are you Winchester yet? Yeah, bombs are dropped. Are you waiting for us to RTB? I could probably sit with you for a bit. 
What fuel are you on? I'm on 11, 12. Oh, 11, yeah. Three. Going to a nice uh, low power lawyer. Yeah, use your F pass page to give you your ideal settings. Right. It's a squarish field. And I'm assuming this. Yeah, I this, do remember this one, I think. And I'm assuming there's smoke coming out of it. I'm pretty sure. I might be able to see it. Yeah, I think I can see targets smoking from it. Look at the very left of the lake as we're coming in, and then look about two or three fields left of that. Yeah, I've got it. Uh, past the town, yeah. Yeah. I'm climbing. I'm not. I'm going to just release how I want. I'm not a real F-18 pilot after all. No, sorry, you're civvy, aren't you? Yeah. Right, Mike, if you can, yeah. follow me in, and I'll tell you when I'll I... You. I'll, and stay with me in formation, with your modes on. Right, so now, I'm at... Le right, I can see the crosshair, because I'm at 9,000 feet. The crosshair, yeah. Right. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's that. If you can't see that, then that... So you can see it, yeah? Can now, yeah. But you didn't have that before. I didn't have the crosshair, I just had a horizontal line. Yeah. Oh, the horizontal line. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, I Must just... Must have been in auto, maybe. No, I just got the horizontal line for a second then. But I think... That might be to do with your wings. Yeah, if you pitch up above the horizon, that... Yeah. I don't know. I get the crosshair. Like, I've got a horizontal line at the minute, and as I get lower... Yeah, me too. As I get lower, that horizontal line... Is moving down and down and down until Altitude. it until it brings the uh, crosshairs out. I'm going for the bunker in the middle. See, look, I'm at 3,000 there, 500 knots, 3,000 in a 10 degree dive, and I've got a crosshair. One away, two away. One away. Oh, by the way, there's shooting. Tar there's targets that will shoot you here. Splash both mine. <laughs> On the corners of the field, there are watchtowers that will shoot at you. There's also tanks and shit that shoot at you. I'm going for a... I see a big group of targets. Well, I say big. I see a cluster of vehicles. Right, I'll go for the line of them then. Altitude. Oh, which one? Because that's what I'm heading for. I'm going to do the watchtower. Right, I've changed the right. I've, there's a few now. Yeah, I'm going to do the watchtower, the line of vehicles, and then the end watchtower if I can. Three away. One. Oh, that was shit. That was a waste of bombs. One of them hit. The other one was very close. I got three left. <laughs> that was shit. That it's got a rush. It. I shouldn't have gone for three targets on one run. I should have stick with either one or just gone for the two furthest away from each other. I'm going for those that line of vehicles again now. Oh, nice. No, I got one. I'm going for two at the north side of the field, in the middle. As long as you're seeing what you're supposed to see, Mike. I couldn't care less if you hit shit, it's just if you're not seeing what you're supposed to see, you're never going to hit it. One away. Good hit. Same. Um, two remaining. From here, the carrier is probably going to be eighty miles ish, maybe. Hopefully, we can all make it on deck with no one dying. 
Mike. That'd yeah, be nice. Attack home from here is 114 miles. 114, okay. <clears throat> Turning in on target. Is that you overhead, Steve? Oh, no, yeah, I'm just outbound. Oh. Other Steve, yeah. Well, no, it is you, I think. Someone diving in. I'm diving yeah, I'm outbound. I've got my S page, SA page up anyway. I've got these on, on now. One away. Can't be much left. Watchtower at one end. Splash that target, a couple of vehicles there. Yeah. There's one near the middle of that group that I'm going for. Whereabouts? Sort of in the middle. Middle of the oh, whole target. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, all three of us are near each other then. I'm following someone, and there was someone with oh, yeah, Turning in left. Yeah, it's you I'm following, Mike. Boom, bang on. Roger. Oh yeah, that middle one. Right, I'm going to go for the watchtower that's left on the right corner as we're coming in, Mike. That's the one I was going right. for. Go I for it. it, you yeah. get it. No, you go for it. I've got another vehicle. And there's a vehicle still in the middle. Oh no, that's not. Sorry, ignore me. Two. One away. How many away, Mike? Two. two. And I hit him with the second one. Yeah, hit it with the second one. Why'd you release two? Wanted to be sure. Why not? He's not paying for him. That's it, fuck it. Right, I'm going guns only. There, sh there shouldn't be much left. Has anyone actually got any bombs left? Yeah, I've got three. Right, it's two targets left. It's just two watchtowers. You want to have a go with your bombs then? If we have to, we'll clean them up with guns. Got it. You might have got hit, or you might have got it. No, I might have got it. Okay. No. Oh yeah, you did, but it's not damaged. There's still two remaining guys. I'm gonna give it some guns because I can. If I could figure out which two it is that are remaining, I think this one, this corner. That's what I'm looking for, I'm going low and fast. Ah, there's one, ahead. yeah. I'm inbound guns, heading 200. A copy, I'm 240 ahead of you. That's one watch tag on. Yeah. There's one, I think another one by that smoking yeah, to your left. Oh, it's it, yeah, it's in the middle of like four smoking targets. You gonna have a go with your bomb? Yeah, I'm climbing up. I'm gonna come nose down. Roger, I'll wait for you to try it. If you don't get it, I've got guns. I'll have a go. Yeah, copy. Visual on you, Mike. Me out. You'll go form up on Steve. <laughs> we'll have to be careful not to trigger a mission on the way back. One away, I've got one more left. Triggering only happens for the first mission once a mission has been spawned by the menu, you can't trigger one. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, it says on the menu anyway. <coughs> uh, looks like you got it. Oh, got no. One more left, yeah? Yeah, you haven't got it, mate. I don't know where your bomb went, but it didn't hit it. Still there. Was this the one you 
you went in with your guns, yeah? No, I got that one. Okay. The one to the left of it. it it's in the middle of oh, four I'm smoking targets, here. yeah. I'm coming in with guns now if you don't kill it before I get there. Oh. So does it not get triggered once you end once this mission's completed, Steve? I thought it was just you can only select one at a time. That's what it says in the brief. Oh that that was short, mate. It's gone. You know, I'm Winchester. I've, got, I've had it with guns. Right, let's form it. Steve, where are you? I'm just over the lake at the moment. Over the lake. Three and a half thousands. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, we'll come join you. Go oh, on, start heading towards the tank room. Roger. How do I navigate for the tanker? No, the carrier. Oh, the carrier. Tac and 42 four X ray. Four two, okay. Wait, is that you, Steve? That must be you. No, that's 10,000. That's you there. 24. Yeah, yeah. 24,000. To the left somewhere. What speed you're at? Mark point seven. seven. No, not you. I'm on about Stephen O'Connell because I'm trying to join them. Yes, Mark point seven. Oh yeah. Twenty-four thousand. In front and somewhere. Well, I got that right. About one hundred and seven miles to carrier. Yeah, about that. Yeah, it's about right. <laughs> Depending where exactly you are. Is Mike the one that's decided to go I think off? He's off to our right, yeah, yeah. he's going direct. So here you go, Matt, look, read that. Um, three, you can no longer fly towards it to activate it. Oh, okay, good. There you go, got your visual above me. Joining. Speed you're at now, airspeed. 280 indicated. Copied. I'm on 90 on the throttle, so RPM. Roger. Uh, Bingo, where are you? Because I've got you on the situational very close to us, but I can't see you. Yeah, I've got you visual. Okay. Oh, I'm high left. Roger. But I haven't got He's OB yet visual. Really? He's off your nose down Roger. a bit. Flown over the top of you, haven't I? Nope. Is that you I'm above? Yeah, it is no, now. Yeah, I've got you. Uh, Mike, we're a beam to your left by about five miles if you want to join us, 24,000 feet. 24,000, okay. Come in. Use your radar or your situational awareness to find us. Oh, you carrying double tanks, Steve, eh? I did, yes. Sexy. It's fine until he tries to land on the carrier. <laughs> Why? Extra weight. Oh. Yeah, your mum. She's extra weight. Yeah, she did say you wasn't very strong. Oh, on your left, Steve. On your uh, right, closing in. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Hey, bud. Right, I'm under carrier weight. The lights are back on. My lights are back on too. They wasn't. They are now. Oh, out you guys. Say again? How many miles out are you? 92. Uh, I've got you on situational. You're like two miles, if that, to our right. Same, same. We're slightly behind. Same direction. Yeah. You can... I got your visual. Oh, I got your visual, yeah. Just 7 o'clock. 
almost at the same level now. Yeah. Am I yeah, your level? Yeah. No, you're at our, you're at our, like, two o'clock. Same oh, level, yeah, yeah. same direction. You got us? Yeah. He's coming straight across our nose, look. Oh, dear. No, he's coming up. Get ready for evasive manoeuvring, gents. I'll break left. Uh -huh. I'll just eject, fuck it. No. There's the coast, girls. Oh, don't calm down. Where is he? I've lost uh, him in the sun. I've lost him. In the sun. There. He's coming above behind us now. Yeah. Not behind you now. I was trying to make that and so that I came round behind you, but fucked it right up. What high are you? 24,000? Yeah. How are we doing this then, boys? Well, what you do, you use your engines to carry on going and your uh, control surfaces to steer. Yeah, I mean the carrier landing. We're not all going to be able to land in formation, are we? No, so what you do is you separate and then you, uh, you, you land on the carrier. I don't know. Run and break overhead. Oh yeah, 100%. There you go then. Solves the solution. Try and give it a mile, mile and a half finals on each other. Like gap. So do it as a single flight then, yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoever's first, do not leave a steaming turd on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mike with us yet? Behind you. Oh yeah. It's a lovely pair of tanks you've got there and a lovely lightning pod, Steve. That's a very lovely Hornet jet that you have there with your nice centre pods and your beautiful lights. Really shows up the complexion of your curves. I like your flaps, mate. Mate, I love those sexy oh. heat-seeking missiles. They really turn up the temperature in this fight. I want to put your flaps in my mouth and set them to full auto. I want you to jam me with your radar. I'm going to lock you on and hunt your flaps down and then lick them. And I want you to tie me up with your hook and the cable. Because I like a bit of domination. I'm and eject all over his face. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm going to press eject three <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Never eject just once, always three times. One for the arse, one for the face, and one for your Oh, dick. man, that is looking fucking sick, Stephen. Oh. I'm just a bit low. I'm just admiring your arse. Ma admiring those... Your nozzle. Admiring those tailpipes. I hope you're streaming. Me? Yeah, I am. The whole flight. Hey, buddy. Where's my compliment, bitch tits? Oh, you're looking just as sexy. Uh, in that vampire outfit. Hell yeah. How far are we? 62 miles. God. Thought we'd be nearly there by now. Oh. Look at that sexy little formation going on. Position, position your... Uh, your elevator right between my uh, my wing and your wing. <laughs> Hands are getting a bit sweaty, and the dick's getting hard. You sure you got hold of the right stick, Michael? Are you joining sure. this form? Are you joining this formation today, or are you huh? just gonna you just gonna loiter back there? Uh, for fuck's sake, alright then. Call that formation. It's just so cool thing about just having autopilot on, I can just admire the fucking view. Yeah, I know, it's good about being the lead. Oh, I see, Mike, you're flying battle spread, are you? Yeah. I thought you'd like them spread. <clears throat> no. Like them tight. Okay, let's 40 formation miles really. and then we'll start our descent, shall we? Say again? 40 miles and we'll get to 40 miles from the tanker, we'll start our descent. You're the lead. 
We'll get ourselves all stabled nice and gently. Lead us in, all ship formation, break off. Do you know heading is pointing at the moment then? Um, it will probably, well, we're heading about 220 towards it. It will probably be. Um, I think it launches. I think no. Coast. I think it launches towards the coast. Yes, I'm saying so. We're about 180 from us. I think for that. Sorry, Stephen. That's something that we have to figure out for you, F18 pilot. That's all right. We'll join the marshal and go from. Oh, he wants us to do a proper circuit now. I thought that's what we were doing. Anyway. I don't know. I was just going to break overhead. How'd you do it then? Come on, explain before we get there. You start descending about 50 miles down to normally 2,000 feet. Fly overhead within a five mile radius. Just overhead in any direction? Any yeah, any heading direction. As long as you start over the carrier. And then what? And then when you get round to point three, you break off, That's drop amazing. down to... 1200 feet and increase your speed to 350 knots bring it back round for the overhead break cool right boys i'm gonna start getting ready to set my throttles idle and bring the nose down for the descent everyone ready uh can you do a non-idle oh, yeah. descent because we're gonna need to hit idle you need to be slightly above who's locking me up not me i'm locked on as well not me right bringing right. the nose down i'll maintain the throttles for now Whoa, Whoa, bloody. Yeah, pilot on, didn't he? I mean, he did say he's bringing the nose down, but... Yeah, but I heard you. And we're streaming, do you mind, mother? Like, disappear. You're embarrassing me. What are you wearing? She's not wearing anything. Why is she in not your room? I've got my headset on. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's a dirty mama. Alright, well... That broke the formation up, didn't it? Well, that's the downside about autopilot, isn't it? Yeah, right, rejoining. So what, you do fly... Do have an autopilot disconnect button set, no? Nope. No, I do not. Right, so you fly overhead, any head in, yeah? And then what? So normally you start, if you can, fly in the same direction as the carrier, and then make a left-hand turn for five miles, keep within five-mile radius, but you can join it at any point. There's four points you can join it. Right, but we want to stay in formation. Yeah. And do the overhead break. So, so what are we going to do? If we drop down to 2,000 feet... Yeah, you still got power on, Steve? Up. Yeah, I've still got mine set. Oh. It's at 9.3, but I'll keep it at 9.0 and it'll appear most of descent. Okay. Carry on, Steve, sorry. Yeah, if we descend down to 2,000 feet, aim directly at the carrier, mm. and then we can, when we determine which way it's going, we'll make a right-hand turn, start a left-hand orbit, over the top at 2,000 feet, yeah. and when we get at five miles, the opposite side of the carrier, yeah. we'll descend down to 1,200 and take a seven DME arc round the initial. Okay, it just sounds a bit complicated. Sound, yeah. Sounds like a lot of circling and trying to maintain formation in a circle. Yeah, you'll normally do it in a flight of two. So why don't we just uh, go overhead and break? Yeah, it's fine. Or we can go overhead, see which way it's going, and then go from the, to the break from there. Yeah, do that then. See which way it's going, then position us wide. Down to 2,000, yeah. So fly overhead of it, whatever heading we come in at, and then Steve, you're going to position us for a final over the runway. 1,200 feet to come in for the run and break. But give us a nice wide arc, five miles yeah, like Steve said. Best way to try we're and do it. Overfly it, but overfly judge the direction, and uh, we'll judge our course overflying it. And look, like I say, we we'll stay within the five miles and we'll bring ourselves on a nice gentle turn back in. Yeah, and we'll just try and maintain. I see what you're trying to say because you do the break from the right hand side and then we do the left hand turn <laughs> in the mole. Is that what you're talking about, Stephen? Yeah, what you showed yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. What might help you is once you can see which way the carrier is pointing, if you try and set it with your course... I ain't even got, got visual on the prick yet. You've got a line there. I see the carrier, 12 and a half miles. 
Oh, um, visual, it looks like it's coming straight towards us. If we make oh, yeah, I see it. Right hand turn, we should be able to get. Just do a hook round right in. Yeah, I think yeah, it's coming yeah, we'll towards us. Right hand turn now, what would you say? Around two, 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 three. Two, nah, two, three, five. I won't go that far. Okay, two, four, zero. Then go past it. Go past it four, five, for five miles, and then turn in. Turn around, yeah. If you reduce your speed, might help us as well. Jason, what speed do you want me to maintain? Four hundred, three fifty. Three fifty for the overhead, and then you pull three and a half G's left. I've reported inbound. <laughs> Angels 3.5, stage 6.3. You basically want to be stable at 800 feet, 3 miles behind the carrier with the hook down. Where's Mike there? He's listening. Yeah, he's, he's, he's following in tail ra trail rather than wings. That's tough. If you really want to show off, Steve, oh, you can do a shit hop break. As your lead. Uh, yeah, good luck. Do what? They call it a shit hop break. You come in at 600 knots. As soon as you go to the back of the deck, you pull hard left. Ah. Basically, you're you going in front of the yeah. and you pull over the deck, but you continue to turn. As you continue to turn, you bring your gear down, flaps down, and it's all done in one, like, continuous loop. It's a fucking difficult manoeuvre to it's good. Right, well, I'm maintaining. I'm maintaining a little bit loose, so I can not lose you and come in nicely as we come round. Yeah, copy. I think I'll do the same. It's just easier to come closer than it is to fucking try and slow and reduce. Might be best if we go echelon right and then break off lead. Okay, I'm moving number number three. You go number two. Yeah, I'll go four. There goes the gap. Starting our left hand turn now. Following. Following. That's not going to be sharp enough, I don't think, Steve-O. We'll do, because we don't need to fly over the deck. We fly to the right, the starboard side of the ship, correct, Matt? Uh, Steve? Yeah, just enough so you can see down on top of the deck. Yeah. I'm we'll under... It no, so I'm, I'm underneath. Formation. You go... Any, you go you're you're able to like close it, Steve. Yeah. So again? No, I'm talking the other Steve. Bingo. I was just waiting for him to close and stabilise and then I'll come in on him. Yeah, I'm a bit better. Don't forget anti-skid off, guys. Yeah, it's already off. Didn't turn it on. Oh, no. It is on because I started on the ground. It'll be on from when we took off so on I, the lands. I'll turn it off when I'm on final. I'm not fucking fadding in now. I'm in it a little bit more so we can level ourselves up. You good, Mike? Yeah, we're done. I'm 360 currently. We're on the outside, so I'm... Nearly 370. Looking good. Leveling off. Are you uh, closing it up now then? Close it. I'm closing. Leveling off. Oh. Roger. Sorry there, mate. It's alright. I've stayed wide to wait, wait until you're sorted. There we go. You've still got a gap for... Oh, still a gap for you. Yeah. And what do I do? I wait till I'm about a mile in front, then I break first, then I Steve. And then yeah, I'll, mile I'll into come on. Go for it now, mate. Start the peel. One on the break. I'll break at 1.5. Roger, and I'll break at 2. Okay, 2.5. Right. Two. Four break. Gear down, flaps down. Everything is moving, my end. Speed you up. Just slowing through 200. Roger. I'll be on turning finals. Roger. Right, anti skid. Oh. Boys, just bear in mind when we do land, obviously, if we're doing it this close, just get your hook up, get the hell out of the deck, and then worry about flipping your rings up. Your hook will come up anyway, won't it? 
yourself. Well, not re oh, release, won't it? No, it won't release. You've got to let yourself take the power off, let yourself roll back slightly. Yeah. Then lift the hook. Roger. I've overshot here. Quick, come in, come in a bit more. Come in a it's, bit more. Because it's not moving, that's the problem. I'm going to extend my downwind slightly because I'm not too far behind you at the yeah, next Yeah, I'm going to probably have to break off. I'm coming way too wide here now. Well, I might be able to just about recover it. Oh, extending. You took it too far in the first place. I think that's what it was. Are you turning in yet? No, going around. He's going around. Yeah, I'm turning. Bolting. Roger, I'm going to wait until I'm two and then I'll turn in. Because I'm not far behind you. Yeah, copy. 1.8. There's two. Turn it in. Have your visual. Fucking hell, my hand is sweaty. Left on the downwinds. Oh, be on the left downwind, sorry. Got vision on one, two. Finals. Where the third aircraft is. We're uh, 2.8 miles oh, out. That's uh, Steve Court. I am 1.4 inbound. Oh, you missed um, it. Did you think oh, is that yeah, you, oh. Bingo? Yeah. So I've got visual on Matt, just looking up for... One mile. Yeah. Mike. We're at the finals now. 2.3 miles. 2.3. Yeah, I see you. You're I'm high. I'm 0.6 and I'm shutting up now because I'm concentrating. Final Missed. Missed. I don't know how. It felt perfect. Yeah, same as mine. I just skipped the deck, I think. Yeah. I think I see it. I think I might have bounced over it. I was aiming slightly in front and everything. Guys, I'm going to have to teach you how to do the carrier, you know. Uh, excuse me, you just missed. Yeah, I, yeah I'm just I, talking about this circuit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're not real F-18 pilots like you. And the final's one and a half. Uh, Thank you, visual. I've got you, visual. Plenty of space between us. You turning in yet? No, I've got Steve-O just off my left wing. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Turning in. Roger. No, call the ball. Roger ball. Balls. I got big balls. balls. Oh, I should get def I should definitely chuck this Marshall, in perfect now. Nicely Marshall lined up. Two six one four one. Angel one point five. State five point zero. Keep that there. Keep that there. Keep that there. Keep that there. There we go. On flat. Number two Y, but I don't care. Okay, I'm having to extend. A little bit because you're only just on finals. Yeah, two mile final, I'm on. Yeah, I'm turning in at 2.5 now. But I'm still on the turn, so. Up and up. deck is green. There you go, he's on 310. Or is it 031? Zero three one. Oddly specific. Finals two point two miles. Got you visual. Clear the deck nice and quick. Copy. I'm a bit high at the minute. Letting it come down. Um, hey, he's missed Bolter. I've got a bird's eye view for this as well, nice.
Yeah. Finals 1.4. There you go, I'm on speed. We like that. Oh, whereabouts are you, Mike? Uh, we're finals, 2.3 miles out. I'm not going around, you can fuck off. On speed. Taking three quarters of a mile, call the balls. Suck my dick. Right. Roger dick. He's gonna be landing short, he's gonna be landing short and skipping over. Yep. Oh, he's caught it. Oh, good. Lucky get number three as well. <laughs> I'm going gears off. I'm going to come and do the overhead. Why not? While you're there. Room is green. The deck. Deck's green. Deck's green. Oh, you're in a risky position, Steve. Can you move to the forward when I can sit there and watch? Yeah, I'll let, I don't want to pressure Mike. Let him. Oh, skipped it. Oh, that was a big skip, that. Do you land on your nose wheel? Look like you landed on your nose wheel. <laughs> no, I was fully, I was well flared, but. Are you coming I in? I approached a bit high. Are you coming in on speed? What do you mean? Who? Um, Mike, you need to be. You know the E bracket? No. You've okay. You haven't actually been taught how to do a proper carry landing. That's why. No. <laughs> or, or you haven't really been taught how to land this thing properly. You're still landing it like a plane. Um, Steve, you can explain it. F-18 driver. Yeah, copy. I will do in a second. Let me get this down first. Because the first time we jumped in, we sort of just jumped in and went for it because we were ground-based. So he's never really done a exact on-speed arrival. Or on-speed approach. If that's what it's called. I keep saying that, but... AOA or something, isn't it? Yeah, well, your you speed's for your AOA, and it? He's coming at the right speed to match the AOA. Hey, Steve-o. We're getting cosy. Getting cosy here. Sexy motherfucker. Where's your flares, dickhead? Nah, no flares. That's all... Did you break over the deck? I missed you. No, he wasn't over the deck. He was... Um, port, uh, starboard side. Oh, I missed him. Steve, you got to break off, come around and do it then. I will do if you want. How's your fuel states? 3.7. Ah, loads. Yeah, get your stuff on the deck. Ah, he's gonna be in my way. Do you want to uh, explain to Mike? Yeah. Explain to Mike. Yeah, you've got to do it all using throttle, Mike, if you can. Try and get yourself trimmed in the middle of the E-bracket. About 140 knots, I reckon. Yeah, mine was 140 yeah. to stay in the E-bracket with your velocity vector, and then you use trim to keep your nose high. Well, yeah. You look a bit high there. Just don't sink too much. Yeah, Fuck too okay, you're gonna miss, mate. Go around. Too high. You know your little velocity factor. Try and get stable on the approach, however you're doing it, um, and get your velocity vector pointing at like I aim for the centre of the wires. Okay. So I aim for like just in front of wire two. Yeah, I did a couple of successful ones last night, but more Sorry. luck than judgment at the moment. You right, chuck. Sure. Mr. Professional for his third attempt to land. Yeah, I'm just yeah, just saying third attempt. I did I did it on second. What do you do it on, Steve? First or second? Second. Second. That's fine. So what <coughs> is that? Three attempts for Mike, or is that two attempts for Mike now? Three. Three for Mike. Yeah, this is only my. No, this is my third. Ah. Uh, last one to land. If you, if you, mate, if, if you backpedal any more, you're gonna be fucking something falling over. Oh, oh, that looks alright. This one's looking good. Yes. Yep, Wire are. three. Nice. Right, Michael, it's all on you. Uh -huh. 
Alright, you got there, ain't it? Three you, miles. Should you I got... make a deal? Should I take off and once Mike land, he can actually see a trap for himself? Yeah, have you actually seen someone else trap and how cool it looks? No. Well, you, well uh, if, if you'd have made it on your first one, you would have got to, so you know, it's your own fault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll go up and do it with you, Steve. Yeah, I'm not. If I get off, I'm not getting on again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I made it on the second attempt. It's, yeah, not bad. It's just getting stable in that it, in that I'm approach. Fairly, I'm fairly comfortable. The only thing is, is for me, it's like trying to do it in the short confines like they do in real life and trying to get myself lined up. Yeah, it's I, not going to happen. I can't. If I give myself that little bit of extra space to you know get myself lined up nice and settled... Nine times out of ten, I get the traps. Mm. It's the state. It's, it's like get eighteen seconds yeah. behind the boat. That's where you're. Why are they only allowed that? What's the theory behind that? That's just what it is. Well, eighteen seconds. It brings you out about three quarter miles. Hmm. Well, this isn't real, so we're good. Yeah, no, that's fine. Get your height down a bit, mate, while you're still out. Yeah. What's your speed yeah, at? 140. Right. Is your little vector in your E-bracket? Don't know what you're talking about at the moment, sorry. Concentrating far too hard to talk. <laughs> yeah, you're too high. Too high, go around. Right, look in your cockpit, look in your HUD, is there a little E bracket on the left hand side? Yeah, the e right. bracket, yeah. Right, and you've got the flight path vector, the little aeroplane. Yeah. On that approach, if you were at 140 knots, it would have been inside the E bracket. Once you've got it inside the E bracket, trim out so that that vector inside the E bracket is going to hit wire 2. And then, if you need to climb or descend, Either use, power. yeah, try and use power as much as you can, but I find sometimes it's just not quick enough to react and you need a little bit of power and maybe a little bit of, like, a tiny input of control surface. <laughs> Ideally, yeah, you just want to do it on power, but I find it doesn't react quick enough, so I, I juggle it a little bit. Whatever works. But as long as it's in the E bracket, you're on speed and you're on angle of attack to come in, which is right. And then you've just got to move your actual flight path to where you want to land. Oh, where are you going? Oh, fuck me. I thought you'd just put power on and not realised. I'm going to sit here and watch some more traps because I'm streaming. Yeah, copy. You added extra fuel? Yeah, I have just a touch. You want to keep yourself below 36,000. Is that the maximum you can land at? Yeah, it is. Hmm. But even that is quite hard to land at. I landed it over that earlier. <laughs> but it was a dick. <laughs> it was a dick to do. Because I was coming in about 160 knots. Because I'd just taken off to do a few circuits. Um, and then wait, while I was waiting for Steve to be ready, then he was ready. So I came in for fuel. And that was a shitter to get on. Well, I might as well shut my engines down, eh? That's Mike coming in now behind us, isn't it? Oh, I've got time yeah. to hold. Uh, where? I don't even see him. Oh, there I do. Yeah. Get the ground crew to put the chocks in. Go on, Mikey. You're looking all right there. You see what I mean about the E and the flight path vector, and then positioning it. Yeah. Chief, turn on the ground power. Looking good. Copy. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you oh, must have just skipped that's it. So close. That look, you are. That looked like you were either going to catch one or the approach, two. The approach was pretty good. I that was, was right. A little bit high. Uh, yeah. No, I high. think you like, landed. It's quite a steep approach. It is. It feels like it. I think you landed a bit early. A bit early. Yeah, okay. I tend to find if you land much more than about eight, nine hundred feet per minute, that can make you jump as well. Yeah. You're looking for about seven fifty. Yeah, seven seven fifty. There you go, I'm just sitting here a ground pound. Who was that who did the reverse brake? Or the reverse overhead? That was Steve. Oh. Roll left, roll left. Feels at eighteen hundred for me, so start fucking uh, Stop you don't use your afterburner on the go arounds in. I mean, use yeah. it, use it to get off, and then as soon as you can, reduce it off. I'm sat here now, window open, so I can hear everything. Copy. I've just turned inbound again. Roger. Mike's just turning finals, I think. I'm inbound at four miles. Eighteen hundred pounds of fuel left. You got enough for maybe four. Or five. Not the most, as long as you can serve it after you're safely airborne again. Try not to use the afterburner in the turns. Yeah. Or just get down this time, then it's worry finished, and you can watch these two hit the edge of the deck. Yeah, I don't know what you were on about. Gonna hit the deck, Steve. When I captured, did I catch number three, didn't I? I didn't say about hitting the deck, but it looked oh. like you was gonna. Uh, land before the rise and oh down. okay right I don't know where I actually touched down though well, I've got two in front of me but not vision did I touch down before the uh, wires you might have me mate you might be picking me up on the deck uh, visual one to the oh right no the I, s I see oh yeah um, someone doing it was at 1.8 miles yeah I see someone coming in for a break on the right that's me Go on, no, overhead. Coming in band as well. Over the deck, over the deck. Come on. I'm streaming here. Thank you very much. Copy. That'll be Steve going overhead with the red tail. Sexy. And, oh, here's one. Are you going to boom? No. Next one, down the runway. I need a boom. Won't be me. Come on, Michael. Yes, that looks all right, Mike. That looks all right. Who's doing the boom? I'll do it. Looks good. Don't flare too much. Yeah, let it come in. Let it come in. Let it come in. Oh, how the fuck did that Damn not it. catch? Right, you landed slightly early. Aim, slightly early, okay. Aim a little bit further down the deck, and you were yeah. You weren't central there. You need to be more central. Okay. A little bit further in and more central. Got yeah, a little bit further down the deck and more central. Mm, I can see someone turning in. Low as you can over the deck. I'm just behind you, Steve. Oh, here he comes. Are you my boom, are you? No, not quite. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah, you Oh, you got to see that. Open. That was a wobble. Who's ejected their canopy? Not me. My canopy's still attached to mine. What canopy? That must be Mike. No, Mike's still full canopy. No. Um, Who's in no, one on three? <laughs> oh. Why? What has you? What's happened to you, Mike? I, uh, I ejected my canopy accidentally as we took off from base earlier. <laughs> Have you been flying? You've been flying the whole mission without a canopy. Yeah, it's fucking noisy up here. I was gonna say twenty-four thousand without a canopy. Good job you got a mask on. What was that then? Did you? It was your tail hook I that hit something. No, yeah. Steve, that was I your that was your oh, tail hook God. that hit something. What me? Yeah. Yeah, your tail hook clipped something. It wasn't your aircraft. I say it threw me down. I knew I was close, but I thought no. Your hook, your hook hit something. 
Right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We just showed the professionals even get it wrong. Am I going to get my boom today, or is everyone just, you know, not bothering? I'm going to get one for you. Good. I want a boom without a crash, if that's all right. <laughs> you said as low as I can. I couldn't get much lower. Well, I mean, you shouldn't have got that low. Did you forget you had your hook down, or did you know? No, I knew I had my hook down. I, still, oh. I, I thought I had enough room. But no. as I come over the back of the ship, I seem to wobble as if I've caught the wind, or caught something. Oh, yeah, no, you will. That's ground effect from the deck. Yeah, so that, that's what's thrown me down. Ah, uh, because we I, I experienced that when we were in uh, we were flying Vegas, and I flew over a couple of bridges super low, and as I went over them, I felt like the air disruption. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mike's on yeah, finals. Nice. Come on, Michael. Hey. Who? What, is that you on finals, is it, Steve? Yeah, miss me. Short finals. Yep. Oh, look a bit low. I'm good, mate. Oh yeah, you've corrected. You've corrected. You're good. You're good. Oh, is he gonna do it? One, two, three. Oh, third, third cable. What are you doing? Refueling again? Give me my boom yet? No, I'm going again. Okay, good. Deck is yellow. And red, bit of flames, black. Yeah. Deck's green. I only just caught there. No, I know. Literally, it must have been the tip of your tail hook. I think it caught, you know, like, there's a light or something at the end of the runway as you come off. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that is. Come on, Michael. How much fuel you got left, man? Come on. Looking good. Oh, it might be a bit high. Might get it. Yes! Cable yeah, 3! Yeah. You literally... Nice. You literally... Yeah, you land... You sort of... Your wheel, wheel is 900 and 980. So your wheels touch down as your cable caught. Oh, God. So yeah, I think you you, you would have got four if you hadn't got three, but... At least you're down. Have you put your tail hook up yet? Yeah. You're still attached. Yeah, you got to let it come back. Take like the power off and let it roll back. Let the aircraft roll back a bit. Yeah, it's roll back now. Okay. There you go. You should be clear now. There you go. Yeah, cable's coming in. <laughs> nice. Now fuel up, all internal, <laughs> and get doing some more circuits. I'm going to watch here because it's quite cool for the stream to sit right where I'm sitting. If someone could use the. Uh, the the other catapults for departure that'd be good as well. Yeah, they'll do. Yeah, I'll head over there. Okay, I'm, I'm just going for a wee, so don't depart for like a minute. What you should do, Mike, is go park over where um, Matt's sitting, just behind him to the right, and you can get a good view of me and Steve coming in for the traps. Where's where's Matt sitting? Sorry, over the uh, the other the side. The other side of the yeah. tower, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Just try and stay to the left of the red and white line. Roger. So I can just put these wings up as well. Once you let it take a few seconds to um, fold up, mate. Put my headset back on. Okay. Stand by. I got a new nickname for Bingo, though. What's that? Five wire. Five wire, yeah. Because you caught the fifth wire. <laughs> I fucking caught something. It's a shame they haven't modelled some kind of lift system so you can go below deck and put your plane away. But then again, you wouldn't do that as a pilot, would you? You'd jump out on deck and the techies would... They'd take that down for mm. you, yeah. I think they're looking at doing something like that, having working elevators. Only oh, nice. New supercarrier. Yeah, you know the supercarrier? 
Is it a super yeah. carry because it's bigger or what? No, it's exactly the same carry, but it's going to have an animated deck. Oh. Where are you going? Oh, I thought you were fucking. I thought you'd forgot that you were here. Or is that Mike? That's me behind you. Oh, right. Just shut down. Yeah, I just shut down. Where's. I might have to unfold my wings so I can see. Oh, there you are. Both of you are there. Cap free, Steve. No, we can't launch together. I'd have to launch in front of you anyway. Because if you launch, you'll take off my wing. That's right, I thought you could have been launched that side of the way. Cool, right. Unfilling the wings. Back into it. Control Tiki. Yippee Kai, yay. We'll try to launch bar pre tension. Make sure it's set. Boom, it's good to go. Salute in the ground officer, full burner. Let's get the fuck out of here. 42 x ray, was it? Hey, Firm. Roger. Oh, he's off. Sexy. Oh, they put that fire out yet. You're not going to miss the, the carrier for a while. That's true. There's no wreckage, just a burning mess. It's fine. Oh, that's cool. Because the because uh, the catapult had to reset. I watched the um, the shuttle be fed back. Oh, you should give me a double boom. You should form up like half a mile behind each other, boom in both, and I can get a double boom. I've departed, headed right, Steve. Let me put the SI page up, I'll get you. <laughs> Wing fold. <laughs> yeah, it's coming down. Oh. Taking its time. It's amazing how it can fold its wings, yet in flight they are rigid and they actually flex like they're part of the proper wing. Like the structure that must be inside there must be some heavy duty pins. Oh, definitely. There he goes. Uh, intention. Well, he's gone. All right, let's get the radar up. All the situational awareness, so we can watch you coming in. Got Steve-O over there on the uh, downwind leg somewhere. Where is he? What height are you at? 1,000 feet, 0.5. Let's be fair, that's about five miles out. Oh, there you are, I've got you. Yeah, I'm about five miles yeah I got you visual and i got Steve coming visual in front of you now. You're going to try a double boom. Nice and low, but not too low. Copy. Not visual on you yet, Obey. <laughs> I was still two thousand six and a half miles out. He's over to your left, mate. Okay. Yeah, he's oh, about he's about visual. on your nose now. You got me visual, yeah? Yeah, I see you. Yeah, speed check. Speed check's three thirty at the moment. The other day, I actually got the LSO talking to me in, talking me in, but I don't get it every time. I don't know why. No, you'd have to talk to the air boss. I'll be on the right frequency. Yeah, but I am on the right frequency, you see. Forming on your right. Cool, mate. Do you want to start the turn and I'll follow you with Sky? Yeah, Why you stop with the speeds? And two become. Okay. Two become one. That's cool. I've got one radar contact on my. Uh, Situational awareness because you're that close. 
Although it's got a dot next to it, which I believe means there's two of you. Or there's a dot on it. We're oh. about 12 miles out. You still with us, Dave? Still with you, mate. Just behind you, two right above. Mac point seven. I'm going uh, Max Mill. Cool. Point. Point, start pulling it round oh. to point eight. I mean, cl you're clean, aren't you? So you should be able to get it easy. Point nine. No, I'm not clean. Oh, you're not? No, I've got a centre line. Well, yeah, it's clean enough. I mean, you're not full of racks. Let me know when you're with me, Steve. I'm with you, mate. Burner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, of, one of oh, you. Sorry, I'm in front of you. Yeah, that's right. I've got you. I'll stay with you. Cool. It's brown to about heading at 030 if we can. So you, like you're going to give us a super close formation double beam. Oh, where's Mark Michael? One. Mike, you back yet? Here we go. I'm going yeah. low. I was going to say, I don't, oh, don't want you to miss it. Bang on your wing. Hang on, I'm going over to the top. I'll go left. I can see you Mac 1 now. Waiting for it to tick over to Mac 1.1. 1 .1. Come on, Coming up to five miles out. Visual. What's your height, steve -o? I'm at 300 now. Yeah, I think we might be best about four. Looking good. Mac 1. You won't hear them until they pass. I've never... Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> they do this kind of stupid shit in the real world, don't they? <laughs> can't hear him, can't hear him. Oh, double. I passed that exactly 666, not syndicated. Yeah, I was the same. Go on, mate, do you want a break and we'll give him a show? Show Mike how we land on the Deckio. Now we've said that, you realise it's going to take them eight attempts each. Oh, you know that, yeah. Followed by, yeah. Followed by a belly flop on the edge of the deck. <laughs> Split your jet in half. I didn't get enough of the turn, so I'm going to go for another overhead. Give us a inverted down the side of the deck. Inverted down the side of the deck, yeah? Mm. As in left-hand side so we can see you. Okay, copy. Oh, I've lost one of you on radar. No one's dropped into the sea, have they? No, negative. Drop my stores, though. Sorry, right. I've got you both now. What did you say, Steve? You said the oh, smoke's gone clean. Oh. Yeah, the smoke is reducing. Oh no, it's not gone yet, though. And then I want a, uh, a knife edge pass. Yeah, that's impossible in these. Alright, uh, a banked pass then. Maybe not a knife edge, but you'll be able to bank as you go past. Here he comes. There he rolls. Now he's inverted. Nice. Not close enough, but nice. I thought you were going to push under then. I thought you were going to push through the loop. Nah. Instant red out. <laughs> Steve and I on finals. So I made it into. Steve, I made it into. Munson, what do you make it in? Three. Three. So let's see if you can make it in one. I did on my second landing. Don't oh, yeah, you one. did. Yeah, you've come in already once, yeah. And nicely set up again. Looking good.
Or a bit early, maybe. Oh no, caught cable one. Does that mean you're a bit early, maybe? Yeah, yeah, too low. What are you aiming for? Two or three? What are you supposed three. to? No. To be honest, it's quite a precise thing to do, isn't it? At like, because 140 knots is like 170 miles an hour. Yeah, exactly. So at 170 no, miles an hour, you're trying to hit wires that are spaced less than 50 meters apart. Inch. About an inch thick, they? Yeah. What happens if a if a pilot gets himself in a muddle in real world and there's just no option? It's either the carrier or the sea. Tanker. There's always a tanker up. Yeah. Oh, they what? Tank off over, over other F-18s. Yeah. Oh, would well, they like if they could see he was starting to struggle and struggling with yeah. it? Uh, then and there's always one sat on the cat as well, ready to launch in case there's an issue. Right, okay. Ah, so there's always a fuel that can back get airborne. Back up, yeah. I was going to say, there must be, because if you're in the middle of an ocean, and you have no option but carrier or sea, and I'm guessing crew duty wouldn't come into it, because you're either going to land or you're going to crash, so you're going to keep going. Exactly, yeah. You're going to keep going until you, well, can't physically go no more. At what point do they launch a wingman for you to fly wing in? <laughs> to fly it down to the figures, isn't it? Was that cash in buddy checks that you just can't handle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so your body's writing checks that you're. Eager if you to can't get it the first time, Steve. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'll go home, shall I? Right, you're the only one in the air now. Let's get four on the ground before we quit. You've got 18 seconds now before uh, we quit. No, 18. <laughs> no, not from there, from when I line up. Yeah, 18 from when you're lined up. So call lined up. <laughs> Remember, go around is always an option. <laughs> 18 from when you're lined up. So what's that about? What's that about? 0. 0.7, 0. 0.6? Yeah, 0.75, I think it is. I'm going to have to fly the F-16 tomorrow before I forget. To do what? Have to fucking fly it. I think CCIP, you, you've learned everything you can learn, Mike. It's just you've got to learn to aim now. Yeah. Yeah, let's get better on here next time. Easy lines. Two, Copy. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is he going to get it? One, two, three, four. Missed! <laughs> Ow, wanker! You were uh, close. Uh, you were. Your tail hook would have got a wire. If it was uh, like a foot in front of wire four. Oh, right. I mean, your tail hook would have never got any of those wires because it wasn't down until after wire four. But a foot earlier, you would have got it. I mean, it would have proper jerked you onto the deck because your hook would have caught and then your wheels would have touched down. So I look spot on there. It's got to be because it's not moving. Oh, is that the excuse? Can't land, can't land on a static carrier? No, believe it or not, it's harder to land on this than it is when it's moving. Why? It's all to do with the line-up and how you come round, isn't it? You take your time, Treacle. Yeah, that's fine. I will do it. Yeah, so Mike, maybe you... What about air-to-air? -air? Are you, like, fully happy with that? If you had to engage someone? Nah. Um, no, I definitely need some work on air-to-air -air stuff. Maybe air-to-air. -air. I can spawn in, like, an F5 or something, and you can get your guns selected and chase me around a bit and then sort yeah. out sort out doing missiles and then <laughs> believe it or not this is like laser guided gps guided um and there to ground missiles that are laser guided or heat guided 
the guided stuff's much more fun because it's accurate. It's accurate. Freefall's great for just loading shitloads of bombs and going out and just having a go at a target. But guide, guided, you can get eight out of eight bombs on the targets you've told it to. Yeah. Come on, bingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Same position again, mate. Exactly the same. Position. Ex exactly the same. You're about a foot past wire four. Your tail hook was. I've got consistency. Yeah, you got consistency, but you need to move the consistency about forty meters or fifty meters shorter. If that. Hmm. I think if you'd have missed your final landing, Mike, I think you'd have had to. Yeah clean up and go econ as best you can and land at an airfield on the coast yeah yeah when i landed i had 980 i think left yeah probably enough that was probably enough to make the coast hmm. with not much yeah. to spare though steve must be running close to running out again living up to his name no he uh, refueled didn't he See, normally you'd start your turn as soon as you see the back of the boat, but I'm extending it slightly, so I might go a little bit back. Take your time, no one's judging you. Oh, yeah. You all know that. Flight controls. Flight controls. Like hell, we're all judging you. That's fine. I'm not judging. I'm the only one who's not worthy of being a critic at the moment. I'm hardly worthy of being a critic. You can land in less than, what, seven attempts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you missed it the other day, Steve. We we hit an air-to-ground mission that was, like, 120 miles north of Nellis. We tanked, yeah. basically, we went straight to a tanker, topped up, then headed to it. I got hit and had to go into uh, Area 51 just to get a re-repair. Um, but they couldn't give me fuel, so we limped it home. Um, but there was still one tank left at that target. So instead of fucking around and going all the way to the target again, we loaded. I loaded one AGM-154, programmed it for the target, got to like 45,000 feet and as fast as I could and launched it from 60 miles, and it hit. <laughs> nice. Oh, maybe he's got it this time. That looks yeah. better. There you go, wire yeah. three. three wire three. There you go, it's dropped. Oh, ladies. Pleasure. Yeah, good right. fun. I think there's only one more thing we all have to do. What's that? Eject. <laughs> Come on, Michael, join the crew. You're the only one who hasn't. <laughs> there he goes. Ah. Oh. Search and rescue for Steve. I've landed behind my aircraft. I'm good. I'm gonna land on Steve's. Oh no, I'm landed between our aircraft. So yeah, I'm drowning in your How'd own you parachute. Walk around, by the way. How'd you walk? With my stick. stick. Yeah, Did just you use your stick for, and then use your rudder to turn. I'm walking. Oh, I'm walking to the edge of the front and see what happens. See if I can see Steve. You got your dinghy out, mate. No, it's uh, sent me up and to one of yous. Oh. Oh, as in you're dead? As in I'm dead, yeah. So it doesn't even let you it's try and swim for it. Kind of walk. Oh, no, yeah, I know. That's a bit shit that you can't see each other walking about. Great if you could use your throttle to no, run Steve, as well. Steve, what you should have done the other day was that um, me and Matt ejected and Mike came in at a fast taxi and he scooped me up into one of his engine inlets. <laughs> Took you for a ride. And he scooped up Matt and then he went to take off and as he rotated, like we both dropped and fell to our deaths. I'm going to walk off the edge of the ship. Right. Oh. Yeah, so I can't see any of you moving. Now I'm in the water. I'm in the water, but nothing's happening. 
Oh, there we go. I'm now watching absolutely nobody. Oh, I'm watching a tanker. Well, that was a pleasure. I didn't yeah, actually die tonight either. Oh, you actually didn't, did you? I you didn't. That's the first time I've not died. Did anyone die? Oh, just Steve twice. So, uh, twice I believe you crashed into. I believe you crashed into the ground. Uh, oh yeah, I was wasn't even at the controls there. Well, I mean, that's your fault, not mine. <laughs> so, what's that? Sorry, total amount of attempts. <laughs> so I done uh, five, wasn't it? Tell you what, you can work out your average because I only did one landing in two attempts, so my average is two. O'Connor, what did you do? Three landings. Yeah, you done three, didn't you? Did three with five. I done, I done two in five. You did two in five. Steve did three in five. So his average is what? One and a half ish. Mike did uh, one in what? Nine. Eight. It's all good. Right. I'm jumping off. Yeah. yeah. Catch you uh, I'll, like I'll fly tomorrow. Yeah. I'll, cool. be, I'll be on tomorrow. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, catch you. Bye. Bye.